Hey, hey. Hello. Yeah, I just got out of the shower. It's not grease. It's just damp. What's the move? No plans. We'll figure it out. Thanks for the membership, Chase. And Goonie. Doing all right, Cozy. Hope you're doing well. And thanks, Brad. One day I'll finish Yakuza Like a Dragon. One day. I'm telling you, we're just taking our time. Yakuza Like a Dragon is best enjoyed over the course of five years. You don't want to just sprint through the game. It's a marathon. So, we're, we're actively chipping away at Yakuza. I'm not curling my hair. Yeah, I saw the Great Wall of China excavator thing. That was like three weeks ago. And yeah, I saw that trailer for Has Been. Thanks, George. And thanks for the 50, Tyson. Goddamn. I'd say Waffle House is definitely crazier since so many fights break out. Thanks for the membership, Jonathan. Congrats on beating Elden Ring Echo. Thanks, Gabriella, and doing well. Welcome, Knight. Just made a moist meter on Saw X. It's a, it's it's fine. Like it's good. It's not great, but it's good. Thanks for the membership, Pat. I already talked about the Big Iron AI cover. We talked about that a lot last stream. It's extremely impressive. Thanks for the membership, Lewis. Don't really have a favorite, Ambrose. And I switched to YouTube like almost two months ago now. I made a whole video explaining all the reasons. There are a lot. Thanks, Torini. Do you play CS2? Yes. The boys and I have played it three out of the last five nights, I think. Something like that. I've been really enjoying CS2. It's not a world of difference between that and CSGO, but the differences, albeit subtle, do feel nice. Congrats on the new house, Nate. Not sure, Devin. It'd take a lot, though. Thanks, Lost. Do you still play old school RuneScape after maxing? I haven't in a little while. Thanks to the membership, Noe. But I do plan on it. You never really quit RuneScape. Like, I accomplished the goal of maxing the account, but there's still plenty more I would like to do with it. When we play Granny 5 Time to Wake Up, it's a Granny fan game on Game Jolt. Sounds awful. I have no plans of playing a fan-made Granny game that ruins the integrity of it. Wow, the video title when I look up Granny 5 is Granny 5 is the best Granny game ever made. These are bold claims. Welcome aboard, Adrian. Thanks for the membership, KBIM. I did not hear about the poop scooter. Sounds pretty cool, though. I'll look it up. Thanks for 10 gifted members, Troy. And thanks for the membership, Dark Bloom. And no, probably not tonight. I have not seen the Disney Plus news about password sharing crackdown. This was a big game, it seems. The gang was all here. They got grandpa, grandma, and uh, this is sister, right? Amazing. There's the membership steed. 
Oh yeah, I saw the stuff with Lil Tay today. And probably not, Hawk. I saw. Lil Tay's back. After five years. She also came out with bombshell accusations against her father. Saying that he was abusive. All kinds of horrible things. But it's also hard for a lot of people to take it like seriously, like since like sincerely, because she also dropped a music video on the same day. So the whole thing's just been a fucking mess. And she just recently faked her death like a month ago, so people are taking all the claims with a grain of salt right now. Thanks to the membership, Drac. Plot armor definitely exists. Thanks, Joshua and Ethan. Oh, sweet. And thanks, Kit Kat. Why was she famous? Because she was like nine years old and used to make content flexing money back when that was super popular. So she blew up from that, and then in like 2018, she just vanished. And then a month ago, she had that shit about, you know, she died. But she didn't actually die. And now she's saying, like, her father's abusive and all kinds of things, and then released a music video. So. Thanks, Eddie. I don't know what Jin V is, Fire. She won the Gulag. Yeah. She actually did die, but then got revived. Thanks, Chance. Nah, I probably won't play Roblox anytime soon. I'm not a huge Roblox fanatic. It's alright. There's some good games on there. I hear about the guy in a porta potty getting run over by a bulldozer in Polk County. Let me take a peek. Did he survive? Landfill worker in porta potty crushed by bulldozer. Oh my god. No, he he did not survive. That's actually a horrifying way to go out. Jesus Christ. And no, I wasn't gonna watch the fight tonight, Drago. I'll just watch the highlights later. Thanks, cold. Jin V is the boys spin-off. I didn't even know it had a spin-off coming up. Let me see. Oh, it just came out yesterday. <coughs> Ooh. Yeah, I'll watch it. I like the boys. I'll give it a chance. I don't really care for spin-offs usually, but I'll try it. Thanks for membership, Sandman and Joey. No idea, Joey. All good, Kyle. Thanks, Evan. No, not playing Cyberpunk tonight. I've been playing it off stream. Last time I streamed it, it crashed my computer. That was the only bug I experienced, really. No, I don't do that cake, but I know all about the Payday 3 release and the disaster that ensued. I'm sorry to hear that, NRG. Hopefully your shift is over soon. Thanks to the membership, Zach and Hal. Nice, Logan. Payday 3 is fine now. Yeah, but they kind of missed their window. CS2 came out now, Payday 3 had this nice little window where it could have existed solely as the only good shooter. Now CS2's dropped. There's also, what game comes out next week? There's another big game that comes out in a week, I can't remember what it is though. They had an opportunity to just have like a really strong start, and it fumbled. Because every game release is broken.
Thanks, Spook. You're up late. Thanks for the membership, crazy. I am excited for Spider-Man 2. I'm very excited for Spider-Man 2. I don't really have a favorite, like... If I had to pick one, anything with, like, Subsonic's pretty cool. <laughs> like, I, it's my, like, I guess my favorite round. Yeah, I saw, I saw they added the Resident Evil characters to Dead by Daylight. I just don't really play it often anymore. And I never watched The Sopranos. Have you seen Across the Spider-Verse yet? Of course I did, man. That's like one of my favorite movies that's come out this year. Thanks for the membership, Evan. Early reviews are calling Spider-Man 2 the best superhero game of all time. I put no stock in early reviews at all. You know what I did see, though, is this from IGN. Uh, where was it? On a podcast, someone from IGN said it's got to be a 9 or higher or else we're going to have a problem. Or something to that effect. Thanks for the big 50, Austin. Thanks for the membership 9. Where's the clip? I want to find it real quick. And thanks for the membership, Shark. I have not seen that video, Ryan. And I do plan on playing more of it, Skak. Probably just not on stream, though. Where is this clip? I see YouTubers talking about it, but I just want, like, the raw podcast clip. Here, whatever. And let us share words with one another. Jan, pronounce his last name. Predict. I'm gonna predict it right now. We here at IGN. I say we, but it's gonna be one person that's reviewing this game. <laughs> mm -hmm. I say we here. We're gonna give this an IGN nine. And if we don't, if we don't give it a nine or higher, then I invite. I have an open invitation for <laughs> the, the person that is reviewing this game to come uh -huh. on beyond and let us share words with one another <laughs> and talk about whatever you're I mean, gonna that, get. Okay. That was a little weird. I feel like that's not a super, super smart thing to say. It's loud. Oh, shit. That's right. I still have it turned up from the last stream. My bad. But that's the only thing I saw about early reviews is that IGN thinks it has to be a 9. That was wholesome. Thanks for that, idiotic. Of course I played Sonic Frontiers, but I'm not playing the DLC. Thanks to the five gifted members, Santa. I have no plans of playing Foam Stars. Diet Splatoon. The creator's the AI movie, right? I'm gonna watch that eventually. Hey Caleb, no big plans. <clears throat> IGN equals 9 instantly. Yeah. That's just a weird thing to just say out loud, though. Have you seen the New York City floods? Oh my god, yeah, that shit is crazy. I saw they had, like, a goddamn whirlpool in the center of uh, one of their streets. Well, where, where's that video? It is fascinating. Oh, and then some sea lions escaped. I remember this from earlier. They didn't actually get out of the zoo, but this is some day after tomorrow type shit. The water apparently rose high enough for them to get out, but not fully out of the zoo. Where's the, is the whirlpool one here? Probably not. Hold on, let me find it. Congrats on the marriage, Adonis. It's awesome. 
And I have no plans on watching The Sopranos. I mean, like, maybe eventually. Man, there's so many clips of the floods, but none of them have that whirlpool that went huge on Twitter. Am I excited for Mario Wonder? Yeah. I'm pretty excited. Why so dismissive towards The Sopranos? What the fuck, man? It's just not a show I'm super interested in seeing. It's not being dismissive. It's just not a show I have a huge interest in seeing. I don't know why you're getting personally offended by it. I know it's revered as an incredible show. Just, just don't have any plans of seeing it anytime soon. Oh, I know all about Charlie Zelenoff. That's actually a wild rabbit hole. We talked about that years ago. And I didn't hear about the whale in Australia capsizing a boat. Do you know the Scorpion King movie had five sequels? Yeah. Did you know that they're made by the WWE? I'm pretty sure these are some kind of like tax write-off for the WWE. I've seen, I think, two and three. I don't think I've seen four and five. But I saw the one that had Randy Couture, and then I saw the one right after that. I think it was Randy Couture. Let me see. It should be this one. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Thanks for that, Nut. And I do like Mortal Kombat 1. I still lab Raiden. Bleach Thousand Year Blood War finale thoughts? Is part 2 over? Oh, I didn't even know that. I'm an episode behind, so I didn't know it was ending. Good shit, Bars. Thanks for that. Appreciate the kind words, Indigo. Hope everything went well. Hope you're doing well. I heard in the doc that if NYC lost power, the city would totally flood in like a week. It's already like totally flooded now, and I don't think they've fully lost power or anything. Congrats on graduating, Kameko. And yeah, I'll moist meter Jujutsu Kaisen season two when it's over. Bayonetta, Eddie. When I was doing the achievement contest with Jackson, a hundred percent achievement Bayonetta. That's a pretty cool Easter egg, breezy. I didn't hear about that one. You see the map of controversy. Oh, the one where you're not allowed to criticize it? Hey, Chronicles. Or something like that? What is it? They put something out saying that workers aren't allowed to say anything negative or something. What the fuck was it? I saw that like an hour ago. Thanks to the membership, Clara. And pathological. I don't want to look that up. Can someone tell me how I can find it? Because it's not coming up when I just look up MAPPA criticism statement. Is Billy Mitchell actually going to jail? I didn't hear anything about that. Did Carl post an update on it? Thanks, RG and Skellicat. Yeah, I'm going to watch the new Castlevania. Just haven't had a chance yet. Thanks the membership soon.
You see about the Epic Games employees that all got laid off. Yeah, they laid off a ton of employees. Which is a shame. They apparently gutted the studio for Fall Guys or something. No, I don't know anything about Man TT Motorcycle Race. Carl did post an update. I'll have to watch that later then. That's fucking hype. I doubt Billy Mitchell's going to jail though, but that'd be great. Appreciate it, Herbs. Where the fuck is the map of thing? No one told me where I can find it. Can someone just tell me how I can find it? I want to read about it. No, don't. You don't have to do that at all, Logan. You're totally fine. Don't do that. Thanks, AC. When Nagoon and I have done podcasts together, there it is, Mappa NDA. There we go. Mappa Studio asked animators to sign NDAs to not divulge information about Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 bad production. Animators, in response, unveiled the truth about the hellish production of the new season. That's what it is. Season 2 has looked absolutely beautiful, though. I'm guessing it's just the conditions that they're working in are unacceptable. Because it's not like the production itself, like the final product, is bad. It must just be running the team so thin and forcing them to overwork themselves. Thanks to the Gifted Member Atlas. Let me read about it. Need to find a translation. Oh, it looks like it's only some staff members on Twitter right now. And I'll just keep my eye on it then. I thought there was a lot more to it. Thanks to the membership. Yanillo. I don't know what we do, Eddie, but yeah. Thanks, Luca. You see, the KOTOR remake might be getting the axe. It was indefinitely suspended, like, a year ago. That's not surprising. I have no doubt that they'll probably just outright can it. Ooh. Appreciate that, Ace. Thank you for that. Thanks for the big drop, man. Goddamn. And we talked about that artist... He was commissioned to recreate some of his older work, but just submitted blank canvases. That's super sweet, Ace. Of course, I'll watch Markiplier's Iron Lung. Thanks, Anum. It's not going to get the axe. Sony responded saying they took down the trailer due to copyright music licenses. Eh. I don't believe that. I feel like they're going to can it. But who knows? You see the most recent backlash for the Jujutsu Kaisen chapters? Yeah, unfortunately, because everyone was fucking spoiling it. That's sweet. Thanks, Robert. You seen the riot that raided the museum in the Netherlands for Pokemon cards? Are you talking about the Van Gogh thing at the Van Gogh Museum for Pokemon cards? Because I did see this. It's not really a riot. To call this a riot is using a... Very generous term. This is more like a nerdy scuffle. Where's the footage? Oh my god. Why is it just not coming up with like the best articles? It's just like the worst ones. Thanks to the membership. Arya and Unknown. There 
it is. So I guess they were doing some kind of uh, Pokemon card giveaway at the Van Gogh Museum, and this is how it went, uh, er, unsurprisingly. <laughs> So just a bunch of people crawling over themselves like it's a football dog pile for a fumble just to get their grubby little hands on the Pokemon items in order to resell them online. I saw a lot of people, well not a lot of people, I saw a few scalpers that were upset that they keep getting called scalpers because they prefer the term reseller, which had me giggling. Like they really think what they do isn't scummy and it was kind of adorable to live with that level of delusion. Yeah, I've seen pretty much all of that drama, Elena. And I'm very familiar, Jacob. I've not seen his new one yet, Joey. Good evening, Fave. Thanks for the membership, bra. People do the same thing with collectibles. Well, people do it for actually everything ever. It's just Pokemon's the hottest commodity to scalp. Because there's always going to be a market to resell it, so. They get their hands on everything. You guys remember when they were doing the Oreo Pokemon collab? And there were people <laughs> buying and selling the Mew Oreos? Shameless. <clears throat> Links in the membership, Robert, and the big 50 panned. I did not hear about that panned. That is embarrassingly awful. Two million trees dumped at Fort Lauderdale in an attempt to support coral, coral reef growth, growth. Oh, tires, not trees. I don't know why I read trees. Tires. The tires ended up killing off the native coral, and the kicker is it was supported by the scientists. Super unlucky. Rest in peace, coral reefs. You see the F1 driver Max Verstappen might face legal trouble for a leaked bit of him speeding in Monaco and in Aston Martin. I did not, but thanks for that big 20, Breezy. I've only recently been trying to get into F1 because all of my friends are. And yeah, I'm very familiar with Jack's films. No worries at all, Dylan. Appreciate that. How the fuck would tires help coral? I think the idea is if you just introduce some shit like, I guess tires isn't a good example, but introduce some shit to the ocean, eventually it can help support coral reef. I remember Australia did something like that briefly for the Great Barrier Reef. At least I think it was Australia because they have the Great Barrier Reef. Like, sometimes trash can end up being pretty decent if it's, like, controlled. Not, like, polluting, but if you, like, plan to use it to, like, help the coral somehow. I don't exactly know how it works, but I've seen that done before over the years. Uh, shipwrecks, I think, was a big one. That was something I remember a few people mentioning. Like, when a shipwreck happens, it can sometimes be good, because then it'll, like, support coral growth somehow. So not exactly trash. Why'd you say Monaco like that? Uh, is that not how you say it? No, everyone hates scalpers. Scalpers is like one of the very few things that everyone unanimously hates together. The only people that don't hate scalpers are themselves. It's one of the few things everyone agrees on, that scalpers suck ass. Always has been that way. Thanks for the membership, Peter. I don't know if I'll play it or not, Hornet, but yeah. Maybe. I do like Paper Mario. I've never even heard that name before, Matt. I'll look him up. Oh, this is that guy. 
What do you mean? This guy's this guy was all over the place. I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen this. I forgot his name though. This is the zoologist that raped and did a lot of other horrible things to a ton of animals under his care. Yeah, it's it's this guy. What do you mean no one's talking about him? This was everywhere a couple of days ago. Yeah, just a legitimately evil villain. And I can assure you he will probably get the punishment he deserves. These, I don't think this is going to go unpunished. I don't know what you're referring to there, dude, but thanks for the tin. I'm sorry to hear about the insomnia helmet. It's awful. Of course I do, Logan. And thanks for the membership, Dre. You see the BattleBot Orbitron that uses AI. Let's see. I do like battle bots. Oh, this is from Hacksmith. Oh, that's cool. We spent a lot. I'll check this out later. I thought it like just aired or something like a new battle bots episode. I love Hacksmith. They're a great channel. Yeah, by all means, Dib. That's super sweet. No, I, I have not seen Noodle's video on that victory. Jesus, these are some fucking horrifying stories. Did you hear about the poker player who had his dog killed in boarding because the woman was addicted to poker and neglected the dog, then pretended it wasn't dead for two weeks? Jesus Christ, no, I haven't heard about that, Timothy. God damn. Hi, cat. Thanks for the membership, Mitch. I'm sorry to hear about that, Dabs. That sucks. Christ. Sorry to hear about it. You should probably just play it safe, Kevin, and get the fuck out of there. You, you probably don't want to play around with carbon monoxide. If the alarm's going off, it's probably a pretty good indication to just leave. What's the point in even rolling the dice on whether or not it's just the batteries being dead? The fuck is the Roblox myth community? There's the membership. Madrid. Have you watched the drone crackhead hunting? No, I have not. Any F1 teams you can name? No, like I said, I've only just recently started trying to watch F1. You ever hear about the car chase that ended up with a mom beating up the guy in the stolen car? That sounds familiar. How old is it? Because that definitely does sound familiar. I never search it up, Breezy. People just send it to me. I wouldn't bother looking that up. What do you mean, what's my take on the Yandere dev situation? There's not a take on it. The guy's a degenerate fucking weirdo. It's, there's, there's no take. He is objectively a bad, weird loser. Speaking sexually with underage children in his Discord and shit. 
You did just remind me, though. I saw a new DMs from him that leaked. I guess allegedly. And these were some wackier ones that I'd never seen before. Where is it? God damn it. There's so many I can't find the new ones. Oh, that was sweet. Well, thanks for that. Sikander. Thanks for the membership ranch. The guy has so many fucking DMs that came out, it's hard to find new versus old now. There's, of course, the classic one where he said... Uh, Dating a 17-year-old is 94.4% okay because they're 94.4% of the way to 18 or something. Everyone's seen those. Where is the, the fresh batch? No, I don't check in on him anymore, Tim. It's been a long time. That sounds awful, trades. I'll look it up in a minute. I want to find the Yandere dev DMs. They're crazy. It's just, it'd be so convenient if these articles would just put a link to the screenshots instead of just, just say it. It'd be so helpful. <sighs> There's a new public doc with it. Well, what's it called so I can find it? And they're doing well, Asher. I'd say titty milk conk. It's probably the best flavor. That's very cool, Shiver. I haven't heard any news about that. And yeah, I was happy to see that too, Pizza. Where can I find that doc with the DMs from Yandere Dev? The Roblox Mist stuff is like creepypastas. Ooh, that sounds awful. I have seen the Godzilla minus one trailer, yeah. This is so frustrating. I really want to find those DMs. But I don't want to just scrub through videos of people talking about it. I just want the... The raw screenshots. Uh, let me try something. Let me just do it through Twitter instead of go to like... News sources. Here's the 94.4% one. But I think everyone's seen that. That's the one that just keeps coming up, and that's not even his, like, most degenerate one. He's got so many of these, and some that are so much worse, too. God damn breezy, thank you again. And thanks for the F1 team lore dump. Let me try. Let's do keywords. Let's try this one, see if maybe I find it this way. <laughs> oh my god, my tummy's a little upset. No. 
oops, this this is not bringing them up. Oh, here's here's one. This is not the new ones though. These are just the classics everyone already knows from Yandere Dev. You're the one traumatizing me. This is Yandere Dev. I'm sorry. This, this here is trauma. This is abuse. This is power imbalance. I am being emotionally abused by you. I'm 16. <laughs> you have this massive blackmail over me. You're 35. God, his DMs are fucking incredible. The one I'm looking for, uh, maybe, maybe if I describe it, you'll know where I can find the dump from the DMs. It's the one where he's talking to, like, a 12-year-old. And he was asking if, like, she's got her period yet. So he said, happy birthday. And she's like, oh, yeah, you know, thanks. Just turned 12. And he's like, that's a big age for a for a big woman. Have you had your period yet? And she's like, I really don't want to talk about that. <laughs> oh, appreciate the big 50 lemon. Goddamn. Thanks for the long time I watch him. And thanks for the membership fave. Thanks, Joey. I'm doing alright, Hawk. Hope you're doing well. How do you know these are real? He admitted to them. That's how. I feel like if they were fake, he wouldn't just say, yep, sorry. <laughs> that I, that was me. I feel like that'd be the last thing you'd want to say. Derek Rocco. Yeah, let me write him down so I don't forget. Okay. And yeah, we were just talking about Lil Tay a little, a little bit ago. Is the government shutting down tonight? Is that confirmed? I thought that was still just speculation. Thanks, Anthony. Oh, that's sweet. Well, thanks, Giovanni. Appreciate that. No, it's not shutting down. Okay, good news then. <laughs> What's the best Lego game ever made in your opinion? Lego The Hobbit, because the speed run's really fun. Nah, I can't help you with that atlas, but good luck. Have you seen Fiona and Cake? I don't know, it sounds familiar. Maybe. That's very sweet, Austin. Uh, I don't know, I just got lucky and I recognize that. So this is the deli owner you're talking about, Derek. Deli owner arrested twice for most multiple illicit acts. And you said one of them's putting a cucumber in his ass and then putting it on the shelves. First the rent here, I'll just pull it up and read it. First arrest was linked to an alleged attempt to take unauthorized pictures of a woman under her dress at a local gro grocery store. He actually tried an upskirt. That's foul. Police say Rocco fled the scene. Oh, whoops. But the man was also arrested again and charged with three felony counts of possession of a sexual performance by a child, one felony count of promoting a sexual performance by a child, and five additional fel felony counts of unlawful surveillance in the second degree. This is the one you're talking about where he put video cameras in the bathrooms? And this is your local deli guy? Holy shit, brother. That sucks. What a piece of shit. That sounds interesting, Breezy. Keep me updated. That's the thing that says Join Chronicles. Appreciate that. The Gamer Fart one's also pretty good, Conk. If that's more your speed. And yeah, we were talking about the New York floods of, a little bit ago. <clears throat> Some artists and bands I've been listening to recently. Too many to name, man. I have a playlist of 1,400 songs that just shuffle. Yeah, I saw a little bit about that on Twitter last week or something, but I never looked into it. Monia, I'll have to check it out. 
Glad to hear that, Herbs. Congrats on the height. Have I heard the conspiracy theory that the Grand Canyon is a portal to Egypt? Plays off the fact... What? Plays off the fact that most of the canyon... I've never heard that conspiracy. That sounds like a made-up one that they crafted for fun. Not one people actually believe in. Are you going to see Five Nights at Freddy's in theaters or Peacock? If it goes to Peacock the same day it goes to theaters, I'll just watch it there. And yeah, foxes are cute. Agreed, buddy. I hope you enjoy your screen production degree, Lemon. Oh, sweet. Well, thanks for that, Mag Magenta. I'm not sure what you mean by that, Conk. They're all normal flavors, just with silly names. You had to pay a hundred dollar fee if you used a second of the song. Jesus Christ. It is a good song. Did you see the recent response from Dave's Gourmet about Chef P? Yeah, where they paid her a hundred twenty thousand dollars. We talked about it. Unless there's another new one, but I don't think there is. No. But this doesn't even have the most recent one. Yeah, Dave's Gourmet came out and said, nah, it's a bunch of baloney. We gave you $120,000. And Chef P's saying that she couldn't afford to live anywhere because she spent all that money on Airbnbs and hotels in the matter of six months or something, which is crazy. And Shade, hope you're doing well. I don't know about that garage. It's a, it's a cool offer, though, but I don't know about that. Sounds scary. They put out the whole timeline of all the payments they made to her. Ooh, that sounds pretty spicy. Let me see. Where can I find that? That must have just came out. Is it on, like, their Twitter, their Instagram, or, or what? It's definitely not on their Instagram. I'd love to see that timeline. A Tozy covered it. Well, can you just tell me where it is, though? They didn't send it to a Tozy. A Tozy found it somewhere, and I just want to know where it is. So I can pull it up. Wow, those genres aren't close at all, Riley. I would never compare Elden Ring and Ghost of Tsushima type games with Diablo style. Uh, I prefer Elden Ring and Ghost of Tsushima to Diablo, though. I'm not a huge ARPG guy. Path of Exile is pretty cool. Diablo was pretty fun, but overall I'm just not a big ARPG guy. Thanks for the membership yoga. And I like paninis more than meatball subs. And yeah, I saw it, Jess. I watched the after credit scene. So no one knows where Atozi got the, the Dave's Gourmet information from at all? It's got to be somewhere public. It's the membership, Bambi. No, I'm not in the new Hunger Games. They didn't bring me back. The court documents that you can look up.
Alright. Let's see. There hasn't been any new updates on it for like a month. So I don't know where I'm going to find those court documents. Thanks to the membership, Monia. I'll just watch this video and see you later then, I guess. God damn it. I'm not going to just keep searching around aimlessly. No, nah, Percy Jackson's dead to me. I was destined to play that role. I was snubbed. My old uni's game development branch had a partnership program with Volition and were active in making of the most recent Saints Row. Nice. Student loan debt. That was a core component in the beginning of Saints Row. It sounds about right. No, I haven't tried Pink Sauce. I wouldn't be alive today if I did. Thanks to the membership. Oh, so dead. And no, I don't know anything about that, Breezy. The NCAA is a fucking weird org, though. Or governing body, rather. It's Live Journal Dave's Gourmet. <laughs> Who still uses Live Journal? What? Oh, you just fucking... Live Journal doesn't even exist anymore. Oh, yes, it does. It just, for some reason, pulled up zero results the first time around. Who the fuck goes on here anymore? What a throwback. No, there, this, this website doesn't even work. When I just go on normal live journal, it's in Russian. Was it always that way? Because I don't remember it being like that. Happy birthday, Tio, and thank you. Welcome aboard, Rico. How do you search on here? Oh, there it is. All right, let's see. <laughs> okay, here. Oh my god, this is so fucking ancient. What a ridiculously <laughs> obsolete site. Man, I haven't been on here since, what, high school? Okay, so here, they're just breaking down. Dave's Gourmet revealed that Veronica received $45,000 up front for purchasing the Pink Sauce brand from her. It was agreed that she would be responsible for handling all refunds to customers who received bad product or didn't receive anything despite paying, paying for it prior to the partnership. After the agreement was signed, it turns out Miss Shaw <clears throat> did not have enough money to cover all refunds, so Dave's Gourmet gave her another 30000 to cover refunds, even though it was not their responsibility. In fall of 2022, Shaw was struggling financially, so Dave's Gourmet provided Shaw with multiple cash advantage, advances that totaled more than $40,000. They did not charge her any interest or fees. These advances were supposed to be offset by the future royalties that Shaw was going to earn. Oh my god. She requested a $10,000 marketing expense to throw herself a birthday party to maybe be featured on TikTok. She also requested they pay for her dress, $800, and shoes, $600. She's, she's, she's insane. She's an actual lunatic. That is so quirky. And now she goes on TikTok daily talking about how Dave fucked her. Now she can't afford to have a house or feed her children, even though they were more than generous here. Like, extremely generous. I don't know how you blow through all of that money in the matter of six months, but that is shameful. That's cute, William. There's a P.O. box for it. 
I'll try your earbuds. Shaw attempted to submit business expense reports for personal expenses like buying four pairs of sneakers or expensing her grocery bills. Dave's Gourmet informed her that such activities were fraudulent. How dumb is she? How can someone actually be that dumb? It's Dave's Gourmet is not your dad. Like, he's not just going to cover every single one of your bills just because he bought your fucking scam-ass pink sauce, your biological weapon that you were bottling. He bought your revolting potion for some reason, which was a terrible business decision from Dave's Gourmet to begin with, and now she's just trying to suck as much juice out of the tank as she can here. What in the world? That's crazy. And yeah, no, she she blew through all of this in like six months. She went live talking about here. You know, I'll just pull up her TikTok again. Let me find it real quick. Talking about how she's homeless, can't feed her children, and Dave's Gourmet, the $120,000 they gave her was in installments, and she spent it all on Airbnbs and hotels. I guess she literally went into diamond and gold-plated Airbnbs in order to spend that much in six months. But she is beyond irresponsible. She has only herself to blame for everything that's happened here. These people defrauded me. Is this? This is a piece of it, but I don't think it's the whole thing. Is this like, where she talks about it? Long story short, these people defrauded me. So I would have to sue them for fraud because it's not only the calculation of the royalty, but it's everything else. Everything else like paying for your birthday party of $10,000 plus, including your dress and shoes. Where is the full thing where she talks about how she can't afford to live anywhere anymore? Because she started the GoFundMe, which... For some reason, Kyrie Irving donated $24,000 to. Actual brain-dead decision. But I mean, money means nothing to him. So she'll get to throw herself another birthday party with that money. And then complain again on TikTok Live. I can't find her full TikTok where she talked about it, though. Thanks to the member, or the, uh, Tony William. Oh, I'm not lying. Here, look. If you go to her GoFundMe, it, which is still up, you can see the donations. Kyrie Irving is right here. $24,240 a month ago. He's sugar daddying her. So that money's going right in the shitter. <laughs> That's going to be maybe like five pairs of shoes that she's going to blow that one on, I guess. I really want to find the TikTok that there, like the actual full TikTok she made though. So just give me one second, because it's mind-boggling how someone could be so reckless with their money. Let me try YouTube. No, she hit the jackpot. She got unbelievably lucky. She got to live the dream. She made this revolting, <laughs> forbidden alchemist sauce. And she hit it big. And she was living the dream. And she blew it. She fumbled. She actually got to experience some of the luckiest set of circumstances a human being can have. Just in her kitchen, cooking up some wicked alchemy, makes the pink sauce, it goes viral on TikTok, people buy it out the ass, and she delivers poison. She basically tries to assassinate people via postage with their pink sauce. And then even in spite of that, she was able to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat by getting bought by Dave's Gourmet, and then she still fumbled that. It's impressive. It's actually impressive. Why does no one just have the full TikTok up? She, did she take it down? I 
I already talked about Lil Tay. God damn it. Just rewind the stream. We already went over it. I want to find this now. Now I'm on a mission. And I will find it. And no, I have not seen that, Austin. They did not pretzel. It was almost entirely Kyrie Irving. Okay. I think it's in one of Atozi's videos. I think that's the only place that still has it now. So I'll just go to that. Branding story going from... These people defrauded me. That's the, that's so the one I would have saw. to sue them for fraud because oh, it's no, no, not only the, the calculation of accountability. Who knows? I guess we'll find out today. Now, let's talk about what is actually is. going on and, you know, all of this chaos that's going on with Dave's Gourmet. So, first of all, I want to acknowledge this $120,000. I like that she puts it in quotes, even though that's exactly what it was. Blog saying that they paid me. So, number one, it wasn't an upfront payment of $120,000 straightforward. It was, it was sent to me partially. I don't know if it blocked out right there because the low battery thing came. But it, they were partial payments. And then also a huge chunk of that money went towards me paying for Airbnb and paying for hotels because, mind y'all, I was homeless for six months. So that's where all of the money apparently went, which I think is impossible. Even if you chose the top line Airbnbs and hotels, you would not blow through a hundred twenty thousand fucking dollars in six months. It just wouldn't happen. That is unbelievably reckless. So that is a blatant boldface lie. And this is very interesting to see all of the numbers now from Dave's Gourmet because there's an ongoing lawsuit here. So we we've only just begun apparently. Shaw attempted to submit business expense. Oh, this is the one we just read for the grocery bills and her sneakers. Shaw communicated that she had spent the entirety of her previous advances and that she needed another advance to feed her children and to avoid being evicted. Dave's Gourmet sent her two advances that totaled 5k. This seems... Honestly, everything that's happened with this lawsuit makes Dave's Gourmet seem like a fucking saint. Like an absolutely beautiful place and business partner. They just keep giving her money because they're buying into her lies. She is not spending shit on her children or anything besides herself. And they keep sending her money. And then she keeps being such an asshole to them. It's incredible. True hoodie. Yeah, the recent news about the serial killer Rex Huerman? No, I've never heard of him before. She had a party on a yacht and tried to flex on TikTok. No way. There's just no shot she had a party on a yacht. Let me see. Now I have to check that claim. She, I don't even think she'd be that dumb. Because Dave Gourmet would see that during the lawsuit. Let's see. I'm going through her TikTok right now. I don't see any yacht activities. Another thing she whined about was that she had to do or pay for all the marketing herself. But here, let me give you a peek at her super expensive marketing for the pink sauce. Just take a video of pink sauce on some food. Nothing else. Actually nothing else. So that cost zero dollars. Yeah, I don't see the yacht you're referring to though. She had a bottle worth like 1k too. She must she had to have removed it then. One of her lawyers must have told her to get that the fuck off to her channel. Thanks for the tin R. And thanks, Sydney. Alright, where are we at? We're here. In May of 2023, due to large advances on Shaw's royalty payment, the balance of quarter one royalties owed to Shaw came to $666. Oh no, it flopped. This was always lightning in a bottle though. This, was, Like I said, this was a stupid gamble from Dave's Gourmet to take on Pink Sauce. This shit made it to Walmarts across the nation and she still only got $600 from the royalties, meaning that this shit was not selling. 
what a fucking flop. You could probably find more value in Walmart if you just picked shit up off the floor and then sold it. Pink Sauce was struggling. Dave's Gourmet decided to hold off on deducting 10 grand in advances from the royalties due... Oh, from the royalties due until a later period so that she would have more funds to cover her needs at the time and instead paid Shaw $10,666. Why are they so nice? This balance and all payments processed have been outlined and communicated to her consistently. Dave's Gourmet then deducted the above-mentioned advances of ten grand at the second quarter royalty payment. They are so fucking nice. They are so sweet. That seems like a great deal, unless I'm missing something nefarious in here. She was complaining that she couldn't take care of her kids, she was going to be evicted, this and that. So when they got this tragic news of not even breaking one grand on her royalties for Pink Sauce, they were like, okay, here's an advance of ten grand, we'll just take it out of second quarter so that way you can stay afloat. Like, that seems totally reasonable. And yeah, we talked about it a bit ago, Ray. Yeah, this is all still Pink Sauce. In June of 2023, Shaw submitted an expense report to Dave's Gourmet that included requests for payment for her time dedicated to making social media content. Such requests were outside of the terms of the agreement. Dave's Gourmet then asked for clarifications related to the various expenses listed by Shaw, but backups, receipts, and explanations were not provided. What a shocking development there. She didn't provide any proof of the things she was claiming the money was being used on. Not not because it wasn't being used by what she was saying, just because, fuck you. Why don't you trust her? Ms. Shaw had certain obligations in her contract related to social media activities that she violated multiple times, but Dave's Gourmet chose not to enforce them as to not create a strained relationship. I didn't think she could make herself look like more of an asshole than the time she was on the uh, the Karamo show interview where she condescend condescendingly Jesus condescendingly talked to that lady who was just concerned about her health with pink sauce. But yet somehow she found a way. She looks like an even bigger asshole now. This company did not even force her to abide by the contract she signed because they didn't want to have a bad relationship with her. And then she goes and burns the bridge anyway publicly. She started all of this, by the way. It wasn't Dave's Gourmet. She is the one that blew the lid off of this with all the hoopla. And no, uh, not tonight. Not playing any indie titles tonight. The total of 666 was after the total of the advances were deducted. So that's like 5k plus 10k plus 30k plus whatever. Ah, oh, you're right. I didn't even consider that. Okay, okay. I see. You're right, Tinnabom. Thanks to the membership, Caesar. In total, Veronica Shaw received over $120,000 in payments from her partnership with Dave's Gourmet and Pink Sauce since August of 2022 to date. Dave's Gourmet offered to pay her attorney fees to go over her contract to make sure all payments she has received are in fact correct, but she declined. She's just been brain rotted by TikTok. She really thinks if she just whines and cries on TikTok, somehow the big bad Dave's Gourmet is going to give her even more money that she doesn't deserve. They did... So much for her. Far more than any reasonable sane person or company would ever do for somebody. And it still wasn't enough for her gluttony. That pink sauce was toxic to her mind. She truly got lost in the sauce. That's nice to see, like, the full breakdown. That is very interesting. And it's nice to see an old friend here. Live journal. What a throwback. What an unbelievable throwback. Thanks, G. 
She's the booster gold of condiment salespeople. All right, booster gold's kind of cool, though. Don't get carried away with that. Did they go? Oh, true. Actually, yeah, you're right, they did. I did see that, SR. Did you see that Disney World's getting sued by a lady who got a really bad wedgie? Woman sues Disney for 50k over injurious wedgie on water slide. What a beautiful world we live in. My underwear chafed my butthole at Disney. It's your fault. Where's my 50k? Oh, this happened all the way back in 2019. She's still holding the grudge to this day. That wedgie's still lodged in there. A woman has filed a lawsuit against Walt Disney World in Orlando, claiming she suffered an injurious wedgie while riding an attraction to the theme park destination's Typhoon Lagoon Water Park. According to the complaint, the lawsuit was filed on Wednesday, and the couple is seeking 50 grand in damages after Emma, 33, allegedly suffered injuries during the couple, couple's visit to the water park in October 2019. Emma alleges that her injuries occurred on the Humunga Kawabunga, a slide that is approximately 200, 214 feet above a pool. And the impact of the slide and Emma's impact into the standing water at the bottom of the slide caused McGinnis' clothing to be painfully forced between her legs and for water to be violently forced inside her. She experienced immediate and severe pain internally. As she stood up, blood began gushing or rushing from between her legs. Why, why would you wait four years for this lawsuit then? This feels like something you'd immediately try and tackle. She was transported to a local hospital by ambulance for medical care and treatment and eventually transported to another, another hospital for the repair of her gynecologic injuries by a specialist. I don't know how violently Humunga Kawabunga blasts you into the water, but... It blew up her whole vagina? God damn. Well, er, thanks for the membership, Haruki. And no, uh, I haven't finished the Thousand Year Blood War finale yet. And yeah, I saw the update on the Tupac case. And we talked about AI Big Iron. Thanks, Arthur. Nonetheless, why? Alan Wagner, the attorney who filed the lawsuit, wrote in the filing that while Emma was aware there were risks that could occur on the attraction, the slide carries with it specific risks about which Disney knew or, in the exercise of reasonable care, should have known, and these risks are not disclosed by Disney to its guests and were not disclosed to Miss McGinnis. What do you mean? What, like, they can't possibly list every injury a human being can suffer there. Having a pussy blow up isn't exactly something most people would consider as a reasonable risk. It's a fucking freak accident. Like, I, I don't... You could come after them for, like, poorly designed slides, I think, maybe. I don't know. But, like, the failure to disclose this kind of injury feels like such a grasp. Hi, Isabel, and thanks, Nicholas. Typhoon Lagoon. Oh, this is just history of it. I really wonder how this is going to go. Because not only did it happen four years ago, but it looks like they're going after them because they didn't disclose that this kind of injury could happen. So I feel like you could just start making up injuries. As long as you have some kind of reasonable basis for it like you actually did suffer some kind of injury you could just go into specifics about it and say disney didn't tell us that this could happen like my fingernail bent back and that wasn't on the brochure about risks that kind of thing i have not seen that ivan thanks for the membership ryan Oh, I hate water slides. I'd never go on water slides. Again, 
They just hurt. There's just barely enough water there to keep you from degloving yourself. Fuck water slides. I hate that shit. Plus, water parks are so dirty and gross. Thanks, Raid. Oh, I've heard it, Viking. It's good. Thanks, Shiana. The ones with the boats are fun? Do you mean like the inflatable tubes? Did you tag either of us, Prod? Because I didn't get in. Well, admittedly, I haven't been on Twitter like at all recently. Okay. I'll, I'll send a direct message then to double check because I've heard nothing about that. Okay, there. What, uh, wait, what do you mean by that, LT? Thanks to 10 gifted members, Max. Appreciate the big drop. An anime you should watch that isn't super popular. Casher and Sins. And yeah, everyone saw the video of that woman who wrecked the guy's street performance setup. Is the membership Garvey? Oh, is he on it, Grant? He's having a he's having a historic run. That's good news. I'll definitely check the VOD. <clears throat> and yeah, we talked about the Google Maps lawsuit with the driving off a bridge thing. That's pretty fucked up actually. It'll be a while, Jake. I don't know exactly how long, but it'll be quite a while before I think we're able to announce that. And yeah, I played Ninja Guide in too. Thanks, guy. Glad you like it. Do I think Logan Paul's on steroids? Uh, probably. He's definitely on some shit. And yeah, I am Rain. Thanks, Cameron. Have you seen the drama with Eugenia? Yeah. I mean, it's just... That situation's been super sad for many, many years now. But the internet dogpiling her every time someone starts sharing a clip around Twitter doesn't do anything to help her. It's just a sad situation from top to bottom. No, no, it is. I feel bad, too. No, I don't know what Super Bunny Man is. You see that BitBoy Crypto is selling his Rolex to fans? Yeah, what I can't wrap my head around is the fucking cucks in the tweet comments. So BitBoy finally had a come-to-Jesus moment where he realized he's going to have to start selling some of his possessions. So he's starting with his Rolex. So he posted a picture of it saying that he's selling it. And one fucking cuck said, you know what? I'll give you money for this. And I'll let you buy it back when you get back on your feet, big guy. I remember when I was in your position. I wish someone had done this for me. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? 
Everything that happened to BitBoy Crypto is his own fucking doing. He is his own worst enemy. I don't understand why so many people in the community not only keep donating to him, even though he has fucking Lambos, Mansion, Rolex, all of that, but then also keep throwing a pity party for him. It's his fault. Thanks for the membership, Taven. Thanks for the 10, Nick. And thanks for the thanks for 50 again, Aaliyah. Yeah, we just went over the Dave's Gourmet Pink Sauce Lady update. And yeah, I'll probably get more tattoos. I don't know when, though. No, I'm not playing the Sonic Frontiers update. I saw a lot of people were really excited about it, but I don't usually play DLC. I really don't. I'm glad that they're improving it, though, and making it better and adding more to it. The killer of Tupac's been dead. He's talking about this news. Hold on. Here. He's referring to this. They recently apprehended the last suspect in the Tupac murder. So, new evidence came to light a few months back. It was actionable evidence. Investigation took place and eventually led to this. That's what he's referring to. Thanks to the membership sled. I don't know what which spring R is. Is that an anime? I've got no advice for you, Zach. Drive safe and I'm wishing your father the best. Thanks for that medal. That was sweet. Wait, this is real? Yeah. This is all brand new. I don't remember where they got the new evidence from or the new information, but it was a little while back and now it's led to this. Thanks for the membership on. And the membership, Nikki. And thanks, Teal. Do a video on the song Lil Tay released today. Why, man? Why? Christ, I already talked about Lil Tay stuff. It's all... Like, it's hard to believe anything she said. Because not only does she make all the claims against her father, but she then drops a music video on the same day. It all seems like it was drummed up for hype to get more eyes on her music video. Who knows what to believe? Faked her own death. All kinds of claims out of nowhere. So we'll see. Eventually, I'm sure the truth will come out. Her entire family, though, is incredibly fucked up. You play CS2? I've been playing CS2 off stream. I might stream it at some point, but I've been grinding with the boys off stream. Thanks for the 20, David. And thanks for the membership mint. And the, oh my god. A huge hundred hamburger. Holy shit, thank you for that. Appreciate the massive drop. Thanks for the membership pretzel. Jesus Christ. Oh, I already pulled it up, Jay. You, you're fine. We, we already found it. Out of all the saw traps, which do you think you could survive? That's actually really easy. 
The one from today. Uh, I saw Saw 10 today. Saw X. Let me see if it's in the trailer and I'll pull it up. The very first trap they had in that movie is actually a super simple one. Give me one second. Let me see if I can find it real quick for you. No, it's not in that trailer. Oh, here it is. It's this one. So this one, which looks like some BDSM shit with all these tubes, but the trap is this guy was about to steal a watch from someone in the hospital. And the the trap is those sticky fingers, you're going to have to pay for it. And if you don't, these tubes are going to suck your eyeballs out. So it's actually very simple. All you have to do is... On one hand, he has a dial. Does it not show it in this clip? There it is. On that hand, he has a dial. And it's one through five for each of his fingers. Each time you click it on one of these, it breaks a finger. If you just... And you only have like 60 seconds. You just rip it, break all your fingers, that shit will heal, and you're fine. That would be the only one I could do. It, it, of course, it's not pleasant, but it's a lot better than all of the other traps. Oh, appreciate the big 20 gifted members, Ollie. Holy fuck, man. Thank you for that. Thanks for the membership, Xavier. And thanks, Rebel. I don't play Modern Warfare 2 at all. And thank you for that, Bap. Yeah, those traps are brutal. Not this one, but like the other ones in the later parts of the movie. And pretty much every saw trap in every movie is significantly more brutal than this. This one is... This one's free. Like, if you got this saw trap, you just take the five broken fingers and be like, you know what? I learned a lesson. <laughs> like a Darman video. This would be the only saw trap I'm confident I could do. Did the dude survive? No. Spo I, I don't know how much you guys care about spoilers. So, spoiler warning. You can mute now if you want. What he does is really fucking stupid. He goes slow. Really slow. So, he has 60 seconds. And he breaks, like, one finger every 15 seconds. He gets through three fingers and then doesn't finish it. So, he has his eyeballs sucked out. He loses. It's like, why the fuck would you do that? You've already gone three fingers. Just, you know, f commit. Finish with the other two. Full send and you're done. You get to you get to live another day. It's like super dumb. I don't know what he would like. I don't know why he wouldn't just commit. I feel like anybody would. I am not. Thank you for the big fifty though, Charlie. But no, I did not like the music video. I didn't finish listening to it, but I don't think it gets much better after the first like thirty seconds or anything. Thanks, Coconut. This one was obviously just for the visual element. For sure. But the, the chatter's question was, is there any saw trap I think I could survive? And it's definitely this one. And this is the only one. Every other saw trap I've ever seen in the movies, I don't think I'd make it. Which saw trap is the most brutal? It's a fucking stupid answer. This isn't brutal, it's just really stupid. But it's the, it's the main saw trap I think back on now. Just because it was so shockingly dumb. In the 2017 Jigsaw movie. This, I guess it's a spoiler, but the movie's... It's 2017. It's, it's already like almost six years old. Who cares? The final game they play is as simple as it gets. Sawed off shotgun in the middle of the room. Two people are left. And John says, here's your key out. Here's your key to the door to get out or whatever. And then he loads the shell into the shotgun, pumps it, sets it down. And then 
the idea is you're supposed to get the shotgun and shoot the other person and you get to survive. But, the big twist, one of them picks up the shotgun, shoots the other, and then they realize that the key was in the shell. So they blew up the key. And then they end up rotting there and die. And I just thought that was so unbelievably dumb <laughs> that I think about that one as like the main saw trap now in my head. That's the one I default to. The shotgun was made to fire backwards. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part too. Not that it's actually relevant at all, but you're right. The shotgun fires backwards, so the person that picks it up fires it and they blow their fucking skull off. And then the other person sees the key, or what's left of the key. You're right, I forgot about that. Enjoy your waffles, Vincent, and thanks for the 20. I'm pretty nasty at ping pong. Yeah, that wasn't really a... Tw that's not really relevant to the trap, though, Hamp, but yeah. Saw 2017 had some of the worst traps I've ever seen, not counting the movies with Mark Wahlberg's brother in it. Yeah, that, that was one of my major complaints about Jigsaw, the 2017 movie. The traps were just unbelievably boring. They were super boring. They really were. What's the easiest saw trap to DIY at home? <laughs> you need to be on a list ASAP. What the fuck? Thanks for the membership, uncle. What's even the appeal of the Saw films? Believe it or not, they actually used to be really interesting. The first Saw movie I still think is incredible. But now they've just kind of fallen into mindless torture porn nonsense over the last like decade or so. The most recent one though I actually think is pretty good. Saw X. is It's decent. Definitely the best one they've had in a while. You should look at the new final boss for Sonic Frontiers. I'll look it up later. Hey, glad you like the potato pancakes, Floyd. <laughs> Is there any movie that genuinely scared you? Yeah, I've talked about it a couple times, man. Uh, when I was a kid, I was super afraid of horror movies, so the very first horror movie I ever saw, One Missed Call, was traumatizing. I made a whole video about that, and then I went back and watched it, and it's an unwatchably bad horror movie. Would you live stream another Saw game if made? Yeah, I play most new games that came that come out, so sure. And no, I never did Monia. I kept forgetting. So I still haven't. And who knows, Winky. Yeah, for sure then, Kaylin. Absolutely. Run the saw gauntlet of all the traps of the first movie. <laughs> uh, I'd probably just take the 24-hour marathon, John. That's actually a... I, I know this has been done a lot, but I am curious if anyone on our team could do some of the saw traps. Like, complete them, that is. Because there are some that you could realistically try without getting yourself killed. I'm 
gonna write that down. You ever see Krampus 2015? Yeah, that shit was great. I'm actually upset there hasn't been more Krampus. Well, that's a cool bandana. Have you seen the lobster or the killing of a sacred deer? I've seen the lobster, but not the sacred deer. Lobster was cool. Yes, we, were, we already talked about Lil Tay. I've got an incredible idea for a horror film. Just haven't been able to make it yet. I was actually talking to quite a few people about that. Like, in the industry. It's just, that's not an easy thing to get started. My idea for the horror film is legitimately psychopathic, and I don't know. It might be too over the top. It's a fucking banger of an idea, though. It's, it is so good. It is something that hasn't been done before. But I don't know if I'll ever actually make it. They just reached out mess, that was all. Nothing too crazy. I'm definitely not going to tell you that would ruin the entire surprise of the concept. That's a dumb idea, I'm not going to say it. Eventually one day I'd love to make it. Did you hear about... Yeah, I made a whole video on the YouTuber who got shot today. Lords of the Ring Gollum is on sale for $34.99. What a steal. What type of channel would you recommend a person make today to become a successful YouTuber? If you're making a channel solely to try and become a successful YouTuber, I think you're going to fail. The only way you can make that work is if you're already successful and have a lot of money because the fast track to success right now on the internet is artificial so you'd pay for things. You could do giveaways, you could do like diet Mr. Beast content with money. So the only way you'd do that right now if your whole goal is just to make money on YouTube is you'd have to start with a lot of money to dump into it. Last to leave the circle gets dad's Ferrari shit like that. You heard about the new Tinder Select membership? Is that the thousand dollar Tinder membership? Or five hundred per month membership? Yeah, we talked about this a while ago when it was still an idea. Are they actually doing it? Tinder users will have access to an exclusive new feature being called Tinder Select. The price tag for this VIP access, it's $500 a month. Why? The company says what does it do again? Apply to be part of this group, and it's only going to allow about 1% of its users to gain access. The membership comes with a variety of features, like the ability to direct message people without matching with them first. Who would ever want that? Brother, if you're not getting matched, the last thing they're going to want is a message from you begging. Paying five hundred dollars a month, five hundred dollars a month, to cold call like a telemarketer to the women you see on Twitter is the most shameful thing imaginable. Oh my god! I remember when this was an idea a while ago. I can't believe they actually did it. That is baffling. Oh wow, yucky! Yeah, those poor souls. And yeah, I love Titanfall too. And I have seen the mobile game for slap fighting. It's just Instagram. At that point, yeah, kinda. But it's an even more pathetic Instagram because the women that you're reaching out to are going to know you're paying $500 a month because they swiped left on you but still got a message. So they would connect dots. They'd have neuron activation pieced together that you are a lonely, desperate loser who just spent $500 a month in order to send that desperate message. So you're fucked. God damn, another 50, Aaliyah. Thank you for that. Uh, 
I don't know if I have any pink shirts, Aaliyah. I'd have to check, but you wouldn't have to pay for it or anything. Glad you like it, Frank. Happy to hear that. And yes, I saw the Chris Chan updates, Cheryl. It also promised to be seen by more users. Tinder Select is an alternative to the regular subscription that starts at $24.99 a month. The regular subscription at $24.99? What's that do? Wait, what? I don't remember that. Holy shit. Also, being seen by more people doesn't help you if you're still not getting matches. Just give up. <laughs> don't waste $500 a month. And by give up, I mean stop desperately trying to cast a huge net on, on Tinder. What's what's the normal twenty five or twenty four ninety nine subscription? Oh, I remember this. Inspiration for this members only club with Tinder comes from Match's Ju July twenty twenty two acquisition of another high end dating app, The League, which costs users up to a thousand dollars per week. Fuck me, I forgot about that. Hold on, I need to pull that up again. Oh, whoa. Thank you for the huge drop, Ricky. If Sasquatch mugged you and no one saw it happen, realistically, who would slash could you tell? I think people would believe me. That'd be such an outrageous thing to lie about. I don't even think I'd have to try that hard to get people to believe me in my life. They'd be like, Charlie, why would you lie about this? I don't even think I'd struggle. Every Unreal Tournament game is no longer purchasable or playable online. I did not know that, but I know they gutted so many developers. Thanks for the membership, Fran. How does one find a mate, then? I mean, you can still use dating apps if you want, but real world is going to be your best bet. Just going into social places. And no, I don't know what my hero Ultra Rumble is. Let me look up the league real quick, because I can't quite remember why it's $1,000 per week. The League is a social and dating app launched in 2015. Uh, she conceived the app after growing frustrated with her own online dating experience. Okay. So they connect LinkedIn and Facebook, select preferences, and each user is assigned a rep who can answer app-related questions. They swipe right to indicate interest in a potential match or left to pass. And the league shows users only five potential matches per day. In 2016, they released a second version with members now able to organize events and create groups. What the fuck? They also added a feature for women interested in freezing their eggs. What the fuck? Each member receives one ticket to bring a friend, allowing that friend to bypass the application process. Without a ticket, a potential user can sign up for the waiting list. The league scans an applicant's Facebook and LinkedIn profiles to analyze alma mater's degrees, professions, industries, social influence, neighborhood, and age. Diversity of application applicants is also considered. Currently, there are 420,000 profiles waiting to be selected for inclusion. Paying to become a member allows the user to jump the line. In May 2016, the app began allowing people older than 40 to sign up, and as of August 2016, the median age is 28. 95% straight, 99 have a college degree, and 20, as of 2017, the league claimed it was accepting approximately 10-20% to 20 of users who sign up. Third-party third party data estimates the league has a few hundred thousand users, and users pay nearly $1,000 per week for its top features. What the fuck are the features? It's just a, it's just an exclusive dating app, which is going to do nothing for you if you're already striking out on, like, the basics. This isn't going to do anything except make you more poor. Oh, I really appreciate that, Master Entertainment. It's yes, fair enough, there's nothing wrong with using dating apps, but I really think real-world socialization is going to be the most effective thing, not only for your own mental health, but in finding a partner with common interests. 
because I imagine the places you would go are places that you're interested in. Thus, the people you meet there have some similar interest off rip. I, I just, I feel like the more isolated people become into these pockets where even dating and even having these personal connections with people is only through a computer or through a phone is just going to leave you even more socially confused. But there's nothing wrong with using them. You can, but I highly recommend going to places like concerts, anything really. Hey, glad you like it, Plague. Fuck yeah. And yeah, we, we talked about that already go a couple days ago, actually. I want to know what these features are. Oh, here we go. The League has long been one of the more expensive dating apps on the market, and yet year after year, users from around the globe continue to, hap to happy pay for it. Okay. As a guest, unlimited membership length. It's free. It just requires a wait list. Free, it requires wait list. As a member, you get one week at $99 a week or $400 a month. I don't understand. What what do you what are the benefits? What the fuck is happening here? So upgrade your dating life. Members double your matches and support our mission to false to foster equal relationships across the globe. So you get to skip the wait list. You get five daily prospects or 150 potential matches each month. You see if a match has read your message, and you can see your past likes. And that is at minimum a hundred dollars per week. And then there's this: you get one extra prospect per day, a free power move. What does that mean? Like it's gonna spit game for you? It summons the the holy wizard to go in there and try and woo the women for you. What is a free power move? You get a free rematch and a free undo for two hundred dollars per week. It's pay to win dating, <laughs> holy shit. But I mean, pay to lose, really. Oh, God, appreciate another big drop for that Master Entertainment. Thank you for that. This one is you get another extra daily prospect, so seven. You can see everyone who likes you. You can be paired first at League Live, which I guess is a speed dating service that happens every Sunday, like a fucking game show. And this one's $400 per week. And then here's the VIP, where it says, get matches guaranteed. So VIPs get eight daily matches. Wait, so these aren't even prospects anymore? Are they just lying to you? They can't force women to match with you. How, is, how does that work? They went from prospects to slam dunks? Instant match your batch. So skip the waiting to be... They must have just bot accounts on there for their VIPs in order to fulfill this. Like just completely fake accounts. There's no way. Hot girls near you. Pretty much, yeah. You can match anyone from your past and you can be paired with all stars at League Live which is eligible for eight speed dates on each Sunday for $1,000 per week. This is so sad. This is so fucking sad. Oh my god. I don't think we looked this up last time. I've heard of the league before because when Tinder was kicking this around, they dropped their, they name dropped it, but I, I don't think we ever looked this up. I feel like I would have remembered all this. Thanks for the membership, Jackson. This sounds like EA's dating site. It actually does. Like, it really does. Thanks, John. I have never been to Japan, but I would love to go at some point once we have teleportation mastered because I'm afraid of flying. Let me take a tinkle real quick and fill up my water. I'll be right back. And thanks again, Rain.
Alright. Back to the new Tinder. There's a former Tennessee elementary school teacher. <clears throat> Holy shit, that's fucking awful goat. Glad they got arrested though. That makes sense. Dark. That's probably a good cadence for phones. Oh man, my tummy is really fucked up. <clears throat> Thanks for the membership, Flan. Oh, that actually goes deeper. Be beyond the exclusivity, the features the feature set is fairly paltry. Select members can direct message another member without matching, but only up to two times per week. And they can't send a super like at the same time. Plus, some recipients can opt out of receiving DMs. So you can just... Everyone's gonna opt out of that. No one's gonna want to be getting fucking messages from goobers that they've already swiped left on. <clears throat> you are actually just going to be sending messages into the void. You're better off just writing your pickup lines on a note, rolling it up and putting it in a bottle and sending it out at sea and hoping a woman likes it. This is such a dumb feature to pay $500 per month on. In addition, select members' profiles will be shown unblurred in the Like You grid in the app for up to seven days. Oh, thanks for the 10 gifted members flan. Thanks for the generosity. No, I, I don't watch Darman anymore, but I do always keep up with slapping. You should absolutely reach out to get help, Jay. ASAP. Call authorities, I'm wishing you the absolute best. Yeah. This is the biggest loser bait I've seen in quite some time. That is rough. That sounds like an awful sport, Kip. I don't like the sound of that at all. Seems more like an escort service. No, at least there you're guaranteed an interaction. Here you're paying $500 a month for a pipe dream of an interaction that will likely never happen. Fear and Hunger is not niche. I've heard a ton about that game, Chris. I've heard that game a lot. I know a lot about that game. If I could travel back in time, who would I want to hang out with? I would hang out with Blackbeard or Cleopatra. Why? Wait, why Blackbeard? That'd be like the most miserable person to hang out with. You'd just be part of the crew. And you'd be miserable at sea. He wouldn't just like hang out with you. But to answer your question, if I could go back and hang out with someone, I guess I'd choose... The people that wrote the Bible or something. And then, then I just uh, start doing like self inserts or whatever. So that way when I forward back in time, it's like, holy shit. <laughs> wait, wait, it's, it's that guy from the biblical text. I just make myself a side character. I would put like a selfie or something in the Bible. Like I'd ask them to just like put it in there. Welcome aboard, or er, thanks for the member, Colin. Yeah, I saw that kitty. We talked about it a few days ago. Maybe, Azerta. 
I've watched a good bit of Smite Esports, actually. Thanks, Jay. Have you seen the goofy news about the cat that got caught stealing items from different people's houses in on in oh in Houston? Houston neighborhood being tormented by longtime cat burglar. That's being tormented by a longtime cat burglar. But fortunately for the thief, they won't be doing any hard time. Anayale Ruiz introduces us to this mischievous cat who's becoming an internet sensation. I want to meet him. And yard gloves. Basket after basket. He did bring a few t-shirts of loot. A bikini. Oh. He brought it in two separate days. Has ended up on the kitchen floor of Gene Wheat's home. He often brings clean, folded laundry. For weeks now, the items have shown up dragged from all over. I want to apologize because some of the items he's brought home, in particular, a pair of really nice women's shapewear, are, are kind of pricey. The what is shapewear? Is Katie Caper. Hey. Leo the cat burglar. It started innocently. In that's so cute. Gene's home, but then this summer we were traveling. God, that's so cute. <laughs> got pretty crazy about stealing. Cleo started visiting the neighbors. Uh, a couple of neighbors have told me that he's climbed into their house through their window. Do we have any footage? What if he's been framed? No, safe. well. And yes, hard to argue with this. Act. Cleo, what do you have there? No, 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 you can't have those. He's gained quite the reputation. That's so adorable. That's so cute, actually. Oh we my God. They were missing. She would tell us he would bring stuff home. <laughs> And because he's a cat, he has a thing for mice. Just not the kind you're thinking of. He took a computer mouse, still in the bag. Cleo's owner, in Barris, started washing the stolen goods and putting them outside with a sign for her neighbors. I apologize. Put the cuffs help. on him. Oh yeah, he'll get Threw tried. His loot and recover your stuff. They read him his Miranda rights. Paper, now a social media sensation. The most viral subject on our neighborhood Facebook page. Cleo the cat has become so popular in this neighborhood. They even made shirts for him. Aww. Part of the profits go to a local shelter. Everybody what the fuck? Is, That's so adorable. They just think it's great, funny, and for a motive. Well, vets say Cleo might have a condition, and no. Nope, it's not kleptomania. I have seen it before in cats who develop like a sub, we call it a substrate affinity. It means- It probably just likes for certain types taking goofy items. Material. Jean says she's tried to get Cleo to quit his life of crime. I chastised him a little bit, um, kind of thinking maybe we could break the habit. Then he then steals the shirts. A losing battle. <laughs> yeah. Basically a teenager. And when we confronted Cleo, <sighs> no remorse and no comment. <laughs> Well, that was very cute. Thanks for that. That was adorable. I did see that one, Antonio. Yeah, we have strays at the warehouse, too. We leave food out for them, though, from time to time. Appreciate that, Jasmine, and I'm sorry to hear that. I know it's fucking crazy. Yeah, Hank the Tank was the bear that was stealing from houses. We covered that when he was finally taken it, taken in. And One Piece has been getting much better. I'm through Thriller Bark now, so I'm on the next one. And I still haven't finished Liza P yet, but I very much enjoy it. Yeah, you know, we talked about the Tupac situation. You see the MLB pitcher that said to get rid of the fans as it's a distraction to them. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. I want to. I want to read that. I'm. Sh I'm assuming he was just kidding. He 
MLB pitcher Spencer Strider in an interview said that the problem was the fans. Let's see. I have not seen the Pokemon Horizons anime. Well, I guess this isn't loading. Oh, here. Do you have any hot sports takes? Any hot sports takes? Absolutely, there should be no fans. 2020 season, no fans. Get rid of the fans. Oh, he's loud. just memeing. Too loud. It's too okay. loud. Everybody be quiet. We don't, we don't need the, the cheering. We know you're watching. I don't need a fans. Uh, you, you stay outside the stadium. You, I mean, back it up. <laughs> Let's do like a no lower bowl thing. He's, he's just, he's absolutely just memeing. Yeah, upper deck's great, upper deck's great. Outfield, phenomenal. This is also in 2020. Just, just try and be quiet. Yeah, he's definitely not being serious there. I'm not sure, Alexi. I might play it at some point. Maybe. I did not see that about the Popeye's employee, Steven. Kata, Tetra, and Io are their names, Luke. And that's cute. Those are good names. Did you hear about the Diablo 4 player count being, di being down 99.3%? Let's take a peek. <clears throat> oh my god. I believe it though. I do believe it. That game fell off big time. Is Diablo 4 dead? September 2023 player count. There aren't enough active players to complete group challenges like world boss fights. Yikes. According to ActivePlayer.io, Diablo 4 has averaged 6.6 .6 million players during the last 30 days of September, or last 30 days as of September 26th. This means Diablo 4 has gained around 636,317 players in the last 30 days. That doesn't sound dead to me. Diablo 4 peaked at 6.7 million players on June 3rd. I must have read that wrong. So it's just 100,000 players under its peak no shot oh this is just total players over the last 30 days okay okay that makes a lot more sense okay they hold about 442,000 concurrent players a day Yeah, no way to verify those numbers, but I'll trust them. That game has still fallen off. Thanks for that, boss. I don't really know what that all means, but thanks. That was wholesome. Thanks for that, Shelty. And yeah, we already talked about Lil Tay. Uh, I'm not a huge Harvest Moon guy. I played it a long time ago. Oh, man. I can't tell if this is a meme or not, but I'm going to read it anyway because this one has really piqued my curiosity. You have people spending $15 a minute to speak to AI Amaranth, and I'm the pathetic one for spending $500 a month to find a long-lasting relationship on Tinder literally cheaper than a hooker, bro. I can't tell if that's a meme, but I'm going to play ball and suspend disbelief and assume you're being genuine with me. You need help. F spending $500 a month is you getting preyed upon by these corporate suits that are really trying to exploit vulnerability. 
you are not going to find a long-lasting relationship because you're paying five hundred dollars a month to Twitter or to Tinder in order to DM people without without them matching you. That's not that's not going to get you anywhere. It's also a weird thing to compare it to the AI Amaranth situation because that's not it's not like I'm comparing them. It's not like I'm saying the AI Amaranth situation is good and this is bad. You're you're wasting money in both scenarios equally. It's it's that's a really weird thing you just projected out there, but I'm I think it's just memeing. Well, thanks for that, Yesh. Oh, that's the plan, Entertainment. The only reason the claw machine's not ready now is we still don't have YouTube API access. So that's the last thing we're waiting on. Then members on the stream will be able to play the claw machine to their heart's content during streams. You just have to wait on the API. Most challenging Soulsborne game? I'm not sure. Maybe Bloodborne? Perhaps. Full Metal Alchemist is good, but I like Code Geass more. Happy birthday, Melissa. Hope you have a great birthday. I just don't do that anymore, Trey. Not sure, sorry, but a lot. And thanks for the membership, Azerta. I don't think that would change anything, Ken. Like, in theory, it's a good idea, but I don't think that changes anything. You're going to school for gunsmithing. Holy shit. It sounds intense. It sounds wild. Hmm. I don't know what my favorite would be. We went to that tank ranch and shot one of those, like, 50 cal turrets, which was fucking unreal that that even like exists as something you can shoot that that'd probably be the coolest thing i think that i've ever shot have you seen that did you see that bing released an ai image generator i did not it always shocks me that bing exists appreciate that mass entertainment but no we got a whole team working on it it's just we're waiting on that Links in the membership relic. And I did see his return tripping. We already went over the Tupac stuff, yeah. Do you think Lelouch could have outdone Light with the Death Note? Why or why not? No. I actually think on the whole, Lelouch made significantly more mistakes than Light did. So I feel like Lelouch wouldn't be better with the Death Note. Thanks to the membership, Mason. Getting to some real nerdy anime talk. Did you see that Michael Orr won his case? Oh, wait, what? I did not. Oh, yeah, yesterday. Tennessee judge terminating conservative... Cons Jesus. Tennessee judge terminating... I'm not turning off my ad block. I keep fucking clicking on Fox because it's the first one that comes up there. A judge orders the end of the conservatorship between Michael Orr and the two E's. That's great news. Oh, here. Said that she's ending the 2004 conservatorship but is not dismissing the case Orr brought against the family in August, asking them to provide accounting information for his finances over the years. Well, this all sounds good. Okay. Conservatorship gone. Good news. Now, next step, let's get him the money he's owed. At some point, Winky, that'd be fun to do a concert. I'd appreciate that entertainment. I did play Mortal Shell. Mortal Shell was good all the way up until the end. It ran out of gas. The ending is terrible. Yeah, I know Doom Guy's been wild with that little taste stuff. Thanks, Kermit. 
No, I don't know what you're talking about with the TikTok beef there. God, this is still so fucked up. Where other parents... Where other parents of Michael's classmates saw Michael simply as a nice kid in need, conservators Sean Tui and Leanne Tui saw something else. A gullible young man whose athletic talent could be exploited for their own benefit. Just a legitimately evil <laughs> scheme. Things in the membership wheels. And yeah, I'll probably moist meter, moist meter Castlevania Nocturne. Have you heard of bog snorkeling? Yes, I have. A wholesome fart slinger. What is a fart slinger? I'm assuming just like King Ass Ripper. I'll look him up. I'm unfamiliar with this fart slinger. It looks like all they do is make shorts of them farting that's huge very wholesome i guess and i do plan on getting back into dota 2 like giving it a try with the, with the squad i was actually watching esl the most recent one team spirit shopify rebellion it was a lot of fun to watch dota 2 is like even being super out of dota 2 for a long time it's so nice how fast-paced everything is in there there's this constant action. Which is really nice. And Team Spirit's fucking terrifying. But I truly believe in Shopify Rebellion, baby. I'll check it out, Cheryl. I'll definitely look at it. Thanks, Chad. Thanks for the tin. Thoughts on PR teams now effectively being able to control people via memes. Most seen on movie sector lately regarding Barbie and now Napoleon. I haven't seen what they've done on Napoleon, but... There's only so much they can control with meme culture. But the fact that they understand how to gamify it to a certain extent isn't surprising. That was always going to happen. It's not surprising. Do I have any tattoos related to music? No, I don't. My tattoos are all pretty meaningless. They don't hold any like special, deeper, profound wisdom or anything. Did I see the Chandler Jones situation in the NFL? It's crazy and sad. Raiders released defensive end Chandler Jones following arrest for allegedly violating protective order. No, I haven't seen anything about this. Oh, god damn. Good to see you, Abaddon. Thank you for the 20 gifted members. Thanks for the big drop. What's your opinion on game companies such as Rockstar and Bethesda taking well over a decade to come out with next sequels such as Elder Scrolls 6 and GTA 6? I feel it's inexcusable. <clears throat> well, it's not inexcusable. That's just the nature of game development right now. It's tedious, time-consuming, and extremely expensive, so it takes many, many, many years. And for really ambitious games like GTA 6, that's not surprising. And it's not going to change. But on the whole, I wish game development didn't take so long. Because back in the day, the shorter deadlines and shorter budget titles, I think, were actually some of the better ones. 
But now even things like the new Saints Row take fucking seven years to spit out a stinker. Oh, that's awesome, Jacob. The only other movie would be Last of the Grads. That's super cool, though, Jacob. And I don't know what the Gaming Heads and Sony debacle is about. I'll look it up. And I've never heard of that stop motion, but I don't think I can watch that. Sony pulls Gaming Heads license. Statue maker Gaming Heads claims Sony told it to destroy all PlayStation themed stock. It's now telling pre order customers to contact about refunds. Why? <clears throat> it doesn't explain why. We've worked with Sony for more than 10 years to bring you some of the best video game collectibles and been trying hard to get them to change their mind. They know you paid your hard-earned money for the items that are ready to ship to you that are in production, but unfortunately, after doing all we can, they have told us not to ship your orders to you. Our business priorities remain unchanged. <laughs> Fuck you guys, I guess. I, I don't even understand why if they're all ready. Yeah, I already made a whole video on that for us. And I am going to finish Lies of P. Just don't know if I'll stream it. We'll see. Yeah, I saw Attack on Titans getting a new manga chapter or something. That's very interesting. Uh, maybe person. I'll think about it for the next thumbnail. One more thoughts on the new Unity price rules. Appreciate the Tony Chaos. And I'm very excited for Silk Song if it ever actually comes out. We talked about the Unity price changes, but I'll go ahead and give you the rundown. I think where they landed is where they should have started. It's a fine place to land. The fact that it's no longer retroactive is very good. That was the most important thing. And overall... What they've changed, I think, is good enough, but I don't think they should be forgiven, and I really think they should fail for what they tried to do. Thoughts on Jack Doherty? That guy sucks. <laughs> that guy fucking super sucks. I'm not a fan. I met him once a long time ago when we did uh, the police training video he was there as well and he was like really just kind of disrespectful to actually everybody there for no reason like he was just nasty <laughs> like he just wasn't a nice guy he's not like putting on an act he's not just like playing the heel he's just actually not really a nice person thanks for the big 50 simply always appreciate the big drop Thanks for the kind words. Thank you for that, Simply. And she's doing well, Gremlin. You know about the new Doom game leak? Yeah, it's not confirmed though, right? It was in the Microsoft leaks, which they said some of those projects aren't happening. Duel Links or Master Duel? Master Duel. I like Master Duel more than Duel Links. I anyway, hope you have a good sleep, person. Sleep well. Are those glasses without lenses? No, they're 
little blue light glasses supposed to help with sleeping so i've been wearing them pretty consistently for like the last what two three weeks i think it's just correlation not causation but i have been sleeping better for the most part since wearing them No worries at all, William. Uh, okay, I'll look for it. Thanks for the membership, Frost. I don't think this is what you wanted me to see. No, I didn't come up with that title. Hope work's going well, Steven. And I haven't beaten Baldur's Gate yet, but I'm getting close-ish. Close -ish. Here by the shark tooth collector attacked by an alligator in Florida, survived, then recovered a camera at the bottom of the river. Nope. I'll look it up. Hey, Dragonfly. Hope you're doing well. Heads. It was very powerful. Shark Tooth Collector recounts alligator attack in Florida River. He was searching for ancient megalodon fossils when the gator bit his head. I can't pull this up on stream, there's blood, but Jesus. Damn. Well, looks like he's he pulled through, so that's good. Favorite and least favorite Linkin Park song. Favorite Linkin Park song is By Myself. Least favorite Linkin Park song. A, a lot of the tracks on Thousand Sons. A lot of the tracks at, uh, uh, what was it, Hunting Party. I don't know. I, I really was not a fan of their more modern albums. But Hybrid Theory and Meteora and even Minutes to Midnight were all... Hybrid Theory and Meteora, timeless masterpieces. Minutes to Midnight was good and then everything else from there I was not a fan of. So I wouldn't be able to choose like a least favorite. Appreciate that big one, Logan. I appreciate the kind words, and I really hope everything looks up for you soon. Stay strong, man. And yeah, Oreo milkshakes are my favorite type of milkshake. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Dragonfly. Appreciate the big drop. Goddamn. Hope you're doing well. And thank you, Joy. Have I seen the new Ghibli movie? Like, trailer? Or is it out? The Boy and the Heroine. Oh, The Boy and the Heron. Oh, okay. That makes much more sense. And it came out July 14th. No, I didn't see it. I'll have to check it out. Is it good? I haven't heard anything about it. Again, we're going to play Rainbow Six Siege again? I'm sure I will. I still really like Siege, I just don't play it like at all anymore. Look up Hunt the Wumpus. It's the first PC game ever. I highly doubt Hunt the Wumpus is the first PC game. <coughs> No, oh, no, this actually might be the first PC game. Is this what Wumpus from Discord was based on? Interesting. Interesting. 
Oh, I appreciate that. Thanks, Mountain King. And welcome. Glad you like it freezing. Yeah, eventually. That's fair, Jedi. Have I seen the scavenger's reign? No, I have not. Hunt the Wumpus playthrough win? Never. That's not happening. Sorry to tell you, sports fans. Very cool that it's the first game ever made, though. Or, first PC game ever made. Are you going to moist me in a new Bleach season? Uh, I think I probably will. I just need to watch the... I'm, I'm an episode behind, so watch the one that I've missed, and then the finale. Thanks for the membership, Ruckus. Have you noticed with the new Twitter engagement stuff, most of the replies are completely unrelated? Yeah, it's all just engagement bait. Everything is engagement bait on Twitter now. Rage bait, anything for farming interactions... It's such a fucking cesspool. I have not gone on Twitter like it all over the last week or so. I just don't fucking touch it now. It's all so transparently fake. I have seen the Titanfall 3 speculation, but I think that's just hopium. And mainly just been, like, hanging around downstairs at him. I don't think Charlie ever played Alan Wake. Brother, I almost 100%ed Alan Wake. I played through that game, like, five times. It was one of my favorite 360 titles. I just didn't like American Nightmare. I just haven't replayed Alan Wake, if that's what you're meaning. Thanks to the membership spades. Did you look at the bat bomb? Oh yeah, I did. I looked that up. Okay, I'll look that up. Alright, let me see what it is. Oh, this is, this is just your channel, isn't it? Yeah, 100% is. And you filmed it upside down. This is a very disorienting thing. Nice crush test, though. Good shit. Animated God Slap win. We have three different animations for God Slap. If you're talking about like a full series, eventually. We have huge plans for God Slap. I just can't reveal them yet. But I'm very excited for when I can. Baldur's Gate 3 is a masterpiece. I haven't checked in on King Cobra in a little while, actually. But I know all about his lore. I just haven't checked in in a bit. And that would be great reality. Hopefully soon. What do you want to win Game of the Year? Baldur's Gate. I think it absolutely deserves it. Thanks to the membership, Christian. You hear about the Florida man and his dog that got bit 41 times by a rabid otter. Yeah, actually. That was terrifying to read about. Look up figure eight school bus racing. It's so goofy. I know exactly what that is. When I was a kid, 
my parents used to take me to a local racetrack where they used to do this. It was called Bronson Motor Speedway. And occasionally they'd do these school bus figure eights. So I've seen this. This, this shit is goofy. I do agree. All of that real redneck shit when it comes to like obscure racing things at tracks. My parents used to take me. I've seen it all. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Florida. And no, I have not watched No One Will Save You. This is actually kind of nostalgic. They should make a holiday for police chases in L.A. That'd be impossible. That happens every single day. What day would they even choose? You hear about the group of friends that made a fake restaurant in New York and ended up with 3,000 people on the wait list? I actually watched that story yesterday. Yeah. I actually thought this was an incredible idea. Wow. So fundamentally, let me hold on, maybe this video will break it down. Fundamentally, it started as a joke called Mehron Steakhouse, where they just posted a bunch of fake reviews, like, that this restaurant is unbelievably good. A lot of people started getting interested in it, so they opened it for one night and had a ton of people, like, on a wait list and then brought them all in and served them, like, really cheap, low-quality food to finish off their prank. Yeah. I heard Barlow, which is very cool. Thanks, Dragon. Yeah, no, it's an actually great prank. They crushed it. It was so thorough, too. Didn't Vice do this before? They did something similar, but this group did it in a bigger way. Vice did, like, a, a long con. This one was, like, lightning in a bottle. But yeah, it, it, Vice did something very, very similar. But they just posted, like, little goofy Photoshop pictures around and all that. Tried to dress it all up like a fancy place. They staged the proposal. It was really good. Yep, made a whole video on that, Elaine. They scammed those people. Did they pay for it? I actually don't remember. If they if they didn't pay for it, then they scammed them out of time. But if they did pay for it, then yeah. They just got really low quality food, but... Hey, it is what it is. I cannot Dragonborn, sorry to tell you. You see J. Cole? An NBA young boy beef over a feature. I saw like a little of that. I didn't look into it though. Favorite One Piece opening. I'm not sure. I don't really have a favorite for that. Could Elon Musk reinstate the old app Vine? Why would he? It wouldn't beat TikTok. That'd just be another wasted venture. No, I'm not busting out the fucking hot dog dance right now. Not for no reason.
Are you going to watch the Scammer vs. Scammer boxing match October 14th? I'm not paying for it. I'll just wait for the highlights to hit Twitter. Let Vine rest in peace. I mean, it is. It's not coming back. It'd be stupid to bring it back with TikTok where it is and YouTube Shorts where it is. Both of those would absolutely just slap it. No, I don't want to name your cat. That's that's a very personal responsibility. I hope it has a great name. You see, did I see what? I didn't, I didn't get to read the rest of that. You hear about the teacher who got hit by a chair by a student in Flint? Yeah, I mean, that happens every fucking day, man. I've said this a million times. Being a teacher is like being a fucking soldier. Except you pay, you paid even less. Kids are vicious. There are... It's so often teachers just getting attacked by kids they don't they don't get paid nearly enough for the crucial service they provide or rather are supposed to provide there's good teachers bad teachers but on the whole that is a thankless penniless job really I, I, my heart always breaks for teachers swear to god Now, I've seen the poll for the UFC fighter Israel Adesanya to face the death penalty. Jesus Christ. I haven't seen that, but I'm assuming you're talking about his drunk driving incident. Seen the dog behind the wheel of moving car in Slovakia. There's whole dog driving programs. This isn't exclusive to Slovakia, but this is the most recent case of a dog driving a car, I guess. Dog at the wheel. Slovakia police fine car owner after speed camera captures this image. Oh, so this wasn't even in a controlled environment. I thought this was going to be like a test course where sometimes they train dogs to drive. Police said image showed a brown dog sitting obediently behind the wheel of a Skoda while the car traveled 11 kilometers an hour over the speed limit. A 31-year-old man claimed his dog had suddenly leapt on his lap, but officers said there has not been any sudden movement in the car. Police in Slovakia have fined the owner of a car after speed camera appeared to show a dog behind the wheel. Damn. Good boy had a need for speed. Air Bud learns to drive. Interesting. Good for him. Uh, probably Bacteria Caesar. Would love to, Tristan. I really like Good Mythical Morning. And no, I haven't seen that panned. And yeah, I do Life. Or Lifea. Uh... Thanks to the membership archive. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even see him post that archive. I'll have to check that out.
thoughts on Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> Dude's a goofball. We were uh, watching his uh, intro to the Abducted Alien series or whatever the fuck it was. Hold on. Where he's talking about him seeing the UFO. That guy's wacky. I never really paid too much attention to Aaron Rodgers' off-the-field antics or anything, but seeing that alien interview was incredible. And then, like, the next day, he blew out his Achilles heel. So it must have been those goddamn aliens. He said too much. Hey, welcome, Dylan. Thanks, Emmett, and thanks for the membership traffic. And yeah, we didn't get rid of it, traffic. We just ha have had a lot of other stuff going on recently. Have you heard about the news for Jaws' 50th anniversary? No. You know what I did hear about sharks recently, though? Apparently, shark populations are down 70% or something over the last three decades. Let me double check. Yeah, since 1970. The global abundance of these predators has declined by more than 70%, largely because of increased fishing pressure. Which is crazy. That is an incredible decline. My jump shot is masterful. I have a great jumper. Steven Spielberg regretted writing Jaws because of it. Yeah, no, he, like, legitimately, there was probably a measurable effect on perception of sharks, increased hunting and killing of sharks after Jaws came out. I, I really do think that that's probably provable. And it's a bad thing. To have the shark population so low is not a good thing. And what's crazy is, I think it's, what is it, 5 to 10 deaths a year, globally, can be attributed to sharks, uh, of people. Human deaths related to sharks, globally, is like 5 to 10 a year. And then meanwhile, hippos kill 400 a year in just Africa. I think the statistic was being compared. So it was something like that. But basically... They don't kill many people at all, yet they're still super, super, super feared. Mainly because of things like Jaws, I imagine. Thanks for the 20, bread. I have not seen the new Sonic Frontiers DLC bosses yet. I've seen some clips on Twitter from them, but I haven't actually like looked at it myself. And no, not tonight, Sam. I'm not sure, AV. I haven't actually looked into it deeply and compared them. favorite COD Zombies game just World at War I put so much time into that same thing to Stingrays when Steve Irwin was killed really? I don't think Stingray populations have been declining rapidly or anything have they? oh my god a study published Wednesday in the journal Nature found that shark and ray populations fell by 71%. Jesus Christ. I don't know, Noah. I just somehow always come across shit. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I'm very familiar with street beefs. Must be all the garbage we keep throwing to the sea. Well, the shark thing is actually from uh, fishing. I don't know about stingrays, though. That's news to me. The shark decline is from, like, fishing and killing them. Have you seen that old, or that up-close picture of the Ogopogo? Which one's that again? That's like the little slime, right? Oh no, it's like a little dragon. Oh wait, this is the Loch Ness Monster! Wait, why are they calling it the Ogopogo? This is a picture of the Loch Ness Monster, not an Ogopogo. Don't be fucking ridiculous. It's like they don't know their cryptids at all. Now they're just making a mockery out of it. Thanks to the membership sack. Oh, that's super sweet. Well, thanks, one, two, three. Hopefully it was helpful for that. And I agree with that, Johnny. Have you ever seen Thunderbolt Fantasy? It's an anime using marionette puppets with crazy sword fights, explosives, and over-the-top gore. I think so. That sounds very, very familiar. When was this? <clears throat> oh, it's still going. 2016 to present. I, I think I have. I did not hear about that, Moore's. Damn. And yeah, I'm familiar, Christopher, and I, I agree with that. I don't think every prankster in the world is bad. Just a certain kind of prankster. The public nuisance harassment prankster. Those douchebags. But no, there, there are good pranks out there. Thanks, I see. Thoughts on plastic and canned tuna due to microplastics in the ocean. Man, do I have some bad news for you. If you think that the plastic's just in the canned tuna... Brother, I'm about to have you struggling to sleep for weeks. Microplastics are in the clouds now. You can't escape them. They have infiltrated everything. There is microplastics in every single thing on this fucking planet. Yeah, no, no, microplastics are a real, real thing, it's, and it's only been getting more and more prevalent. There's microplastics in your blood right now, most likely. Microplastics now in the clouds, it's in the soil, everywhere. It's not just canned tuna. Oh, Canelo one, nice. And no worries, Christian. And yeah, we already went over the stolen golf cart. Please chase, that one was wacky. Thanks for the 20. And no, uh, I'm sure there's going to be a ton of like reskin dark and darker games over the next couple months, but I don't know which one you're referring to. And I did not hear about that traffic. Microplastics rule the world. Yeah, we still don't know exactly what effects they're going to have. I've mentioned this one a couple of times, and I'll mention it again because it always puts the fear of God in people. There was a study from back in like 2019, maybe 2020, can't quite remember when, that showed a pretty strong correlation from what I recall, that there is an effect on microplastic and penis length in the next generation. So microplastics presence, microplastic presence in your body now has an effect on your child's wiener size or something. And I initially misinterpreted it as microplastics in your blood now have an effect on your penis size. 
So then I completely stopped drinking bottled water, which is probably still just a good decision regardless. Appreciate the 20 dragonfly, and yeah, there's there's microplastics everywhere. I gotta pee real quick. Give me two seconds. You guys can sit around and hyperventilate over the microplastics. I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Oh. What do you drink instead of bottled water? Just normal, like, fridge filtered water. Happy early 32nd birthday. You hear about the semi-truck in Illinois that was carrying a toxic substance that crashed and killed five and injured others. No, what the fuck? It's awful. Why does everyone avoid tap water? Shit's just yucky. I don't know. It doesn't taste good. At least not in Florida. Maybe other places. Shit's got lead in it. Probably. A lot of things do. Favorite ice cream flavor? Just chocolate. Super simple.
Anything interesting in the world of UFOs? Nothing new. No big new UFO news. Have I seen the Gojo Shrine in Chile? <laughs> what the fuck? A Gojo fan also contacted the Taliban to target the author. Jesus Christ. I've heard of neither of those things. Have you heard of Marion Stokes, who recorded multiple television channels 24 hours a day for 35 years? Gotta be a lost media gold mine. Didn't, uh... Blame it on Jorge. Mention them. That name sounds super familiar. I'm pretty sure. It's very cool though. I wish they also recorded every YouTube video for like at least five years starting back in 2006 that'd be so helpful for me i did not know that much panda i didn't know that they need mites for flavor jesus christ There's no way he's reading comments. What? Why? I can easily read them. Do you remember the scandal with AT&T and actor Milana? Oh yeah, I do remember that. It's the join thing, LT. I remember that. That was like, what, three years ago? Two years ago? Something like that. Any tips to people with a fear of flying if you're going alone? You are asking a man who is afraid of flying. I have a flying phobia. And you're asking me for tips. My tip is just don't do it because that's what I do. But I feel like that's bad advice because you probably should do it. I'm just, I'm too weak. It's too scary. Thanks for the membership, Kibi. Nope, can't say I saw that one machine. Thoughts on the anime Kingen Ashira? I only watched one episode, but it was interesting. I really just don't like 3D anime, but even that wasn't bad. I just ended up not finishing it, or even watching past episode one. Did you hear about Toys R Us brick and mortar comeback? No, but it, it, I, I think there's no harm in talking about an idea I've had. I don't, I don't see how somebody would steal it. I actually love brick and mortar. That's like a guilty pleasure of mine. Brick and mortar is rightfully declining. Brick and mortar's on its way out. It's going extinct like the dinosaurs because online shopping is just significantly more convenient, right? But there is just something fun about going to brick and mortar, like a local shop, like a family owned business or something in person. It's just so much more enjoyable and personable. So one thing I've really wanted to do is get a brick and mortar establishment and make it like a hotspot for like gaming locals, like smash locals, cause that's non-existent in Tampa really for the most part. Uh, like card locals, MTG, Yu-Gi-Oh, One Piece, TCG, all that kind of shit like have prizes, prize pool, a place to, like people can go together. We'd also like sell Godslap and Plague Seeker comics and like Moist Global merch whatever. 
but like just have like a hot spot brick and mortar place that'd be like a one-stop shop for just fun shit to do i just always like brick and mortar even though it's so archaic now So an LGS, yeah, like like an LGS. That that's the uh, the streamer with his own the video game shop, right? I'm pretty sure it's LGS. Ooh, that sounds like a brutal shift, Tyler. Hope there was at least some fun to be had there. And I didn't really fly a whole plane, Aaliyah. Let's be fair. Thanks for the gifted member, Cobra. Oh, LGS stands for local game store. Oh. What is the, uh, there's a streamer who has his own video game shop and he streams it all the time. And it just, it's so cozy and cool. We just don't really have that in Tampa to a big extent. We have things like Oblivion, which is a card shop, but there's really nowhere that does like gaming tournament locals anymore there's still big ones that go on here i don't know i just think it'd be really fun that's something like a big picture idea that i think would be nice to pursue at some point yeah tampa never sleeps our big one Glad to hear that, Lahim. But Tampa Never Sleeps is huge now. Which makes me happy to see that they've grown so much. Kinda, Joe. What is Tampa Never Sleeps? It's our... It's Tampa's hot spot for, like, tournaments, basically. But they also do so many big things now, too. So this is Tampa Never Sleeps. They had one... Uh, when was... No, this isn't up to date. They, they just had one. I don't know why this is out of date. But yesterday they had TNS for Guilty Gear and Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom and something else. But that's like the only one we have. Oh, that's cute, Caden. Are bottled vitamins a scam? Depends on what you want to get out of them. Your body's not going to absorb all of the... All of the stuff in it. But it's not like hurting you either. I'm glad to hear you and the other cooks are being, like, friendly. That's good, Tyler. Makes that more enjoyable, even though it's a long fucking shift. Oh, that's cool, Fresh. Yeah, something like that I think is just a really fun idea. Glad you like it, Arcane. Have you, have you seen The Expendables 4? No. I was going to just because everyone says it sucks, but I just haven't got a chance to watch it yet. And yeah, we talked about that when it happened, Leprechaun. That was like two weeks ago and shit is just downright evil. <clears throat> Do you actually enjoy streaming? Yeah. I will say, like, 
towards the end of the Twitch contract when I was still trying to meet the hours, a lot of the streams just I felt like I was doing out of obligation, which is just such a bad feeling because that's never how I want to do anything. But since then, it's been nice, like, not, like, forcing a stream every day if I don't feel like doing it. It's just been really convenient and nice. So, yeah, I do like streaming. Always have. But there was a period for a little while where Twitch was going in a direction I wasn't super thrilled about and forcing myself to stream for hours kind of felt like shit. So I just autopilot a game or whatever. And zone out. Did you ever learn to fly a plane slash helicopter? Fuck no. I wouldn't trust myself to do that. I, I did a flight simulator though. That was cool. You'll be alright, Rados. Drink water. I've done cooking streams before. I'm not very good at cooking, but it's fun. Favorite type of food is Italian. Favorite Halo games, Halo 2. Favorite Halo character? I mean, it's just Master Chief. Kind of a boring answer, but Master Chief is just super cool. I don't know anything about that, Ravioli. Did you try the new anime Battle Royale for shits and giggles? What's that? What's it called? Is it the JoJo's Battle Royale? What the fuck? Why is there a JoJo's Battle Royale? JoJo's Last Survivor. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be... Excuse me. It should be parts 3, 4, and 5. Which is definitely interesting, considering the it's fact the My that Hero it one. Makes sense because that's a What's it called? I'll look it up. Freeze. Items. Okay. Also, if you guys need to channel, make sure to subscribe. Of course, drop a Please like. We're members, to get to 100k. Truly appreciate it. If we can get a thousand likes in this My video, Hero Rumble. Awesome. Okay. It's awesome. My Hero Rumble is easier than you think. 1v3 clutch, insane, creative overpowers everyone. Would you look at that? We actually have- Let me see. You think you're the strongest one? Nah! Oh! Oh, I'm almost down, I'm almost, I'm almost down. This looks pretty chaotic. I missed! No! Good thing we have two shields. 100? Oh, oh, This reminds oh. me of Anarchy Reigns. Oh no, Dobby has been brought back. <laughs> what is this madness? Yeah, I don't oh, know if I'll play I, this, I'll good. be honest with so you. That's my chance. This oh, reminds me Momo. also of that Dragon Ball Momo. game that came out recently that was like just Dead by Daylight. <laughs> oh yo, she just overpowered the shield. She's literally fighting back. Where are you going? Alright, we got the down. Nice, nice. Real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and shield. Away. Yeah, I don't know about that. Probably not. Yeah, I've seen that, Garrett. I'm familiar. Thanks for the 50, Jake. I'm not sure, Jake. That's not something I've paid a ton of attention to. I have no idea. That's a good question, though. That is a very good question, Jake. Well, thank you for the big 100. Anal Sex Man. What a name. Very cool name. Thank you for the huge drop. What is your least loved game? What a crazy way of asking what my least favorite game is. What game do I hate? I'm not sure. I don't know what my least favorite game would be. The worst game I've ever played is Super Fight. It was a $200 30 second game. I don't know what my least favorite game would be, though. Gollum? Hey, Kiwi. 
Gollum would probably be up there. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. Maybe. That was pretty miserable. Perhaps, Mark, there may be more. And yeah, I'm very familiar with the Killer Bean game. You never know when Slap Mountain might rear its head. We played One Piece Bounty Rush. Nope. Is this another anime battle royale? Gotcha, guys. What? I'm not. Look how big that is! Pause! Oh, watch this, watch this, watch this. Go move, go move! No, this Stop. is not a battle royale. Damn! Nah, he fired. He fired. This is a problem. And I think if I, if I hold my skill like this... Oh, shit. I think if I... I can't tell what type of game that is, but no. I don't know anything about it. Hi, Jerome. And yes, I do read Berserk, but I am not caught up yet. Have you seen the new ridiculous pretty pixel art game called Sea of Stars? Yeah, uh, I think this was at Gamescom. Oh, wait, no. This is not what I was thinking it would be. This looks cute. Yeah, it looks good. Just sticky and greasy, I think, Tofu, for keyboard would be easier. And I'm sure the new Spider-Man game is going to be great, so I'm looking forward to it. I think Radiohead's fine. I'm not like a huge Radiohead fan, but they have some good songs. I definitely don't dislike them. Crimson Desert. That game looks amazing. This game looks like it, ha looks like it has a little bit of everything. This is the one that actually just has a thousand fucking mechanics. Yeah, I'm very excited for this one. And the new Cyberpunk DLC's been good. Kinda looks like The Witcher. A little bit. But this is one of those games that makes me think like it might not ever come out just because it's so ambitious. We'll see though. It looks very cool. I was blown away when that was shown. Have you reached time skip yet in One Piece? No, but I'm close. I'm on episode like 388, something like that. Is there any new project in progress? A lot. We have so much big shit we're cooking up, man. I'm so excited. Jesus Christ, anal sex man. Thank you for... Oh my God, for 200. What the fuck? Thank you for the kind words and the huge drop. And happy birthday, Jake. Hope you have a great birthday. And thanks, Kirito. Jesus Christ. One thing that we're learning to do, though, this doesn't really answer your question about big projects. We're learning to wrestle. So the squad and I, we're, we're taking wrestling very seriously. Not only with the MWL, we're, we're learning it, too. It is so fucking hard. I know a lot of people, like maybe a lot of you in here aren't, avid wrestling fans or anything 
But one thing you should never take any credit away from with the sport is how difficult the maneuvers are and how painful it is. Yes, of course, there's a lot of, well, a lot of it is scripted, but all of the moves you see, they do those. And the, the wrestling canvas is like falling onto wood. It, it just feels like falling onto wood. I played spring football in high school and getting tackled straight up onto the ground, getting planted, hurt less than taking a bump in a wrestling ring. It is incredibly difficult and extremely fun. So we've been getting after that. Yeah, I saw it, Cryptic. We talked about the little taste stuff earlier. You're probably right with that, False. Yeah, they were probably the first. What's your favorite anime, Code Geass? Have you seen? No, I have not seen Noodles' video yet. I've heard quite a bit about it, though. And I did not play the new Sonic Frontiers update, nor do I plan on it. But I'm glad to hear that it's good. And I have always been afraid of flying since I was a child. That's sweet. Thanks for that, Trevor. That's wholesome. And thanks, Cosmo. Can you play the crying wrestling fan video? Oh, the it's real to me, damn it. I love that guy. Perhaps Chris, that would be a really good finisher. We'll see. How do beards feel like? They don't feel like anything until you touch them, then it just feels like hair. Really scraggly hair. Thanks for the membership, cool. Yeah, we talked about KOTOR Remake earlier. Sleep well. Awesome. Do you think a live action code Geass would work? Nope. Not at all. Thanks, Jerome. Appreciate it again. Oh, I have no idea, Tofu. That's a fucking crazy question. And yeah, I'm sure Logan Paul's on some gear. I'm pretty confident in that. You said the same thing about One Piece? Yeah, but the One Piece live action is such a fucking anomaly. Oh, wow. Thank you for that, Ricky. Black Myth Wukong looks amazing. The new video they, well, it's not new anymore, but the video they dropped like a month ago looks incredible. So I'm super excited for Black Myth Wukong. I was excited, then I had less excitement when they had their first preview. Where was it? They had a preview like eight months ago or something, and it looked kind of slow. But now their newest one, it's more polished and it looks amazing, so I'm excited again. So yeah, I can't wait. Oh, thank you for Big 50 again, Jake. Have I seen the retired racehorse that joined the Tour de France? That was so cute. Yeah, here. Mm. 
Wait, did this happen in 2010? I thought this was something new. Oh, la, 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 la. oh no, no, it is new. Oh no, it's not. This is not the Tour de France. This was in 1997. Every single cyclist there just increased their energy output by at least 50% with the horse. Just out of fear. Like, shit, I'm going turbo. What do you mean, Jerome? I keep saying thank you. I don't know what you're referring to. And I don't know if I'll revisit Titanfall 2. I appreciate the generosity, Jerome, but I'm confused in what you're asking him. No, I'm not on any specific diet now. Just trying to eat a gram of protein per pound of body weight. That's really about it. Appreciate that though. Did you beat Weed Shop? You can't really beat it, but I did everything I wanted to do in it. Thanks for the membership. Chuni. And the membership Fernie. <clears throat> Appreciate it, Knuckle. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> when are we going to see you do the Boston Marathon? I don't know what makes you think I would actually run a marathon. Thoughts on the new Mr. Beast challenge? 500k to stay in a room with another person for 100 days. Sounds like a murder waiting to happen. I don't think it'll be a murder. But I also really don't think two people stranded in a room are going to last 100 days together. That's a wild experiment to run. That, that's, that's fucking crazy. Those people are going to fucking hate each other. I do, Kiwi. It's, I think it's somewhere in the chat with a command. I don't know what it is, though. Yeah, there's updates all in the Discord, Emmett. But the route's down into the seven minutes now. The Escape from Lavender Island speedrun has been coming along so fucking nicely. It's really good. And I've not tried the Burger King snack wraps. Uh, not really, Jake. It's mainly just friends. And I have not played Absolver, but I know about it. Would you rather would you rather grow to six foot three and get a million euro, or get a million euro for free? That is the dumbest question I think I've ever been asked. Yeah, I'll take six foot three and get a million euro instead of just get a million euro. Oh no, I misread it. Would you rather grow to six foot three or get a million euro, or get a million euro for free? You just asked the same thing twice and confused me. That's been the most disappointing game in 2023 other than Gollum. Disappointing. There's been quite a few games I've been disappointed by this year. Let me see... What else come out so I don't miss one? Let's see.
And Gollum wouldn't be on that list because I wasn't expecting it to be good, by the way. And I wouldn't say Redfall either because that game also looked like shit for the entire time they advertised it. So that wasn't disappointing either. It was about what I expected. Hmm. What would be the most disappointing game I've played this year? None of these are really jumping out at me as like a huge disappointment. I'm not sure. I guess maybe Starfield. But it's not because the game's bad, it's just I did not get into it like I thought I would. I've tried playing it off stream a few times as well, trying to take in more of the world and a slower playthrough like I did back with like New Vegas, but it's just not capturing me at all. So it'd probably just be Starfield, but it's not even a bad game or even close to a bad game. It's just, it doesn't click with me. I will soon, big boy. I don't know Bright Eyes now. Never heard of that band. Yeah, Redfall is just a disastrous game. <clears throat> oh, man. God damn. Thanks for the membership battling. What's the worst show or movie this year? Shit, what shows even came out this year? I can't think of any shows that came out this year. The Idol. Oh, easy. All right, nice. Yeah, The Idol. I actually totally just forgot about that show. Yeah, that's the objectively correct answer. The Idol is the worst show that's come out this year. And it's not close. Velma was last year. I Actually, that's the one that I thought of initially, but it was 2022. Oh, wait. That article was wrong. It was January 12th of this year. Still the idol. I think the idol's probably worse than Velma. How bad is Netflix going to screw up the Bioshock movie? They didn't fuck up One Piece, so who knows? Anything's possible now. And I know Dayrider. Payday 3 had a terrible launch. They fumbled. Thanks, Ironic. Hope you enjoy it. Have you seen the new carpetless tech in Mario 64? Yeah, we talked about it. <laughs> we went over it. Green Suiji even stopped in for a minute. Thanks for the membership, Jay. And I have not watched Gen V. Also, Simply has a really good video on carpetless. It's a very, very exciting time for Super Mario speedrunning. I haven't played Far Cry 2 in many, many moons, so I don't have a strong opinion on it anymore. I don't know if I'd still like it today. Have you played Deep Rock Galactic? Not yet. That's a game that at some point I'm sure I'll play. I've heard nothing but good things. And no, I've, I've never even heard of that. 
the Linathon, how a high school turned into a fascist regime in five days, huh? Am I going to play Ark Remastered when it drops? Absolutely fucking not. The new Carl video came out 12 minutes ago. Fresh off the press? Yeah, 13 minutes ago, the Impossible Doom Challenge. Nice. I still need to watch his Billy Mitchell video from yesterday. No, oh, sweet. Well, thank you for that, Mark. I have not seen the strike at GM and Ford. But it's nice to see so many workers coming together to strike, and nice to see happy resolutions like with WGA. Well, I'm looking something up real quick so I don't forget. We were for a bit, Matt. Has Roblox gone back on their dating idea yet? Let's see. Man, just, I didn't even think that through. Just typing that in on Google probably just alerted the NSA agent that monitors my computers. Fucking Roblox dating app. Just typing that in is criminal. But no, it looks like they're still going through with it. No news. Thanks for that. Tyler. I liked The Witcher. Like, I even liked season two to a certain extent. I did not watch season three. And yeah, I played DayZ when it was still a mod for Arma. I even made a couple videos on DayZ back then. Thanks to the membership, Goose. People are turning on Castlevania Nocturne and you'll never guess why. Is it not good or something? I, I can't imagine that it's not good. What would the drama on Castlevania Nocturne possibly be? And by people turning on it, do you mean like maybe one delusional loser on Twitter or something? Because right now I'm seeing nothing but great reviews. Thanks for the membership, Kai. Yeah, I don't see anything on here about any controversy. Might be a Twitter exclusive thing per usual. You see Ryan Taylor flip out and throw a table. I just finished Thriller Bark in One Piece. And yeah, I've heard of that Ponzi scheme, Keith. Hope you're doing well, Keith. Ryan Taylor throws table at swarms during face-off. Oh, is this YouTuber boxing? You're telling me, all right, cool. You're telling me about blogs and that. You're watching blogs. Literally, bro. Where's your kid that you left? Where's your kid that These aren't real. Ryan, Ryan. Uh, the, I, I don't really get excited for, for those anymore. It's all just scripted. Truly, you know that. You, you really think that happens at every single one of these face-offs? Just naturally? It's, that's just not really for me. I like watching the fights when they actually happen, like the clips from it. 
but the press conferences they they don't do they don't do it for me. It just it feels like they all play out exactly the same. That was sweet, Otaku. Glad you liked the songs. Can you check out the Min Pillow Championship, brother? It is called the Pillow Fighting Championship. Why are you calling it the Min Pillow Championship? That makes it sound sexual. This is like a, a brutal sport. See? I don't know why you call it Min Pillow Championship. This shit is amazing, actually. I actually just saw it got broadcast on, I think it was ESPN or something. So yeah, don't you ever disrespect the PFL again, please. Or, sorry, the PFC again, please. Thanks to the membership clown and the membership radio guy. I have not heard of trails before, large man. Thanks a long time for watching, Sam. You'll appreciate it. And thanks, wettest. I did not see the Amazon Prime announcement that they're going to play ads with Prime content, but I'm not surprised. That's the way everything's going. What are your thoughts on Doke V and Pal World? I'm very excited for both those games, but there is a 0% chance Pal World beats Pokemon. But I think it'll be a fun Pokemon with guns game. For those that don't know, it's this. This is a brand new trailer, but... Yeah, it's, it's Pokemon, but you shoot them to death. You see Musk firing his 50 cal and getting roasted for wearing the cowboy hat backwards. I did catch that, yeah. We covered the infinite money glitch from the ATM back, what, it was like six or seven years ago? This game was supposed to come out like a year ago, wasn't it? So I'm starting to get a little worried that maybe it won't see the light of day, but if it does, you bet your sweet bippy I'll be playing it. Are you interested in the four new Wes Anderson short films on Netflix? Not really. I'm not a huge Wes Anderson fan. I don't mind any of his work or anything, but I'm not a fanatic. So if there's any concepts in there that interest me, I'll definitely watch them. But it's not like I'm going out of my way to watch it just because it's Wes Anderson. I'm not going to moist meter it, Anthony, but I am going to finish it. What do you think about Keiichi Immortal Energy Scams? What is Keiichi Immortal Energy? Oh, you mean Tai Chi? Wait, am I just... That's not how Kai Chi is spelled, is it? Am I... Am I out of touch? I did not know that's how you spelled that. Either way, what's the immortal energy scam you're talking about with it? An amazing proof of chi and internal energy. Oh, I'm glad you've come to visit me here at the dojo. And this one feels like a skit. So what's the scam? Oh, I appreciate the kind words, Kiwi, and I'm wishing you the best. I'm sorry to hear about that. Stay strong. I'm going to see Titanfall gameplay. Maybe eventually I'll revisit some Titanfall too. And my favorite voice actor, maybe Richard Steven Horwitz. Aerokinesis isn't a scam. You're right. Aerokinesis is real. It's actually popping off thanks to TikTok and their ability to believe anything for no reason.
basically just move your hands when the wind starts blowing. Bang, you're an airbender. This is one that's been around for a long, long time, though. I actually made a video covering this, like, six years ago or something, and TikTok's blown it up. Not the video, the aerokinesis in general. Link for the membership lettuce. And no, I haven't heard of them yet, but that sounds awful. And also not surprising for Facebook. Alright, I'm getting kind of tired now. I think I'm going to call it a night. Tomorrow I think we'll do a bad game night. And yeah, we talked about the Tupac stuff earlier. Alright everyone, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the generosity. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. And I will see you all tomorrow. Sleep well everyone and thanks again.